Testing, testing. Testing, testing. <gasps> Ow. Ow. Perfect. Okay. Howdy. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping chilling. Daja hao. Ping chilling. Lagana. Is your mic fixed, Bao? Yes, it is. Apparently, my USB port was broken, but it's okay. Daja hao. Ping chilling. Whale cat. Not a whale, just a cat. I swear. On on God. Anyways. <gasps> Hi. Good afternoon. Small Mookie, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. Choo choo. Captain Cow, thank you so much for the prime. Jacob, happy three months. Thank you. Radem, happy two months. Um, yum, yum. Woolichi, thank you so much for the four months. Sushi Dog, thank you for raid. Link is bad, thank you so much for the prime. Donut Gank Me, thank you so much for four months. Laquitas, thank you so much for nine months. Unare, thank you so much for tier one. Micah Joseph Marek, thank you so much for tier one. The Chaos Seeker, thank you so much for four months. Kid Dynasty, thank you so much for tier one. Kim, thank you so much for two months. Snooze Snooze Senpai, thank you so much for three months. Kuga, thank you so much for five months. Mr. Hayate, thank you so much for tier one. Vision Haas, thank you so much for tier one. Mifan, thank you so much for three months. Dav. Tag Vu Cat, thank you so much for tier one. Nameless, thank you so much for tier one. Alley Cat, thank you so much for eight months. Look at my Shalong, thank you so much for the two months. Cosmo Cupcake, thank you so much for the eight months. Nexus, thank you so much for the ten months. Low Geared Kuno, thank you so much for the prime. Obsidian Devil, thank you so much for the bits. NG Bao, thank you so much for the prime. Uh, Raina, thank you so much for the prime. Zetsu Boss, thank you so much for the bits. Dang Sun, thank you so much for the five gifted and the bits. Freaking Incident, thank you so much for bits. Ore Over Easy Eggs, thank you so much for nine months. Yami, thank you so much for six months. Mr. Yoshi, thank you so much for two months. Miss NS Wagi, thank you so much for prime. Human with Human Thumbs, thank you so much for tier one. Potato Kaiser, thank you so much for five months. Warface, thank you so much for the bits. Honeysuckle, thank you so much for the host. Minnow, thank you so much for the 16 months. I love you. Stwoob, thank you so much for three months. Bloodblade, thank you so much for 15 months. Magic Beat, thank you so much for three months. Kuhaku, thank you so much for three months. Asian with Fried Rice, thank you so much for half year. CST, thank you so much for the tier one. CD, thank you so much for the raid. Maddie Fox, thank you so much for the prime. Nappy Mate, thank you so much for the four months. And the tier two, thank you. The Act 9000, thank you so much for the Prime. Suzu Tails, thank you so much for the raid. Stars SRM, thank you so much for the nine months. Sawara, thank you so much for the three months. Polly, thank you so much for the half year. Bernie, thank you so much for the Prime. Dissimp, thank you so much for the half year. Oni Recon, thank you so much for the Prime. <gasps> Irk Burger, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you, Sir Glitch, a lot. Thank you so much for the gifted. Double A54, thank you so much for the nine months. X Host. Thank you so much for the three months. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you. JC Wash Year GT. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Crowd 10. Thank you so much for the tier one. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, you guys, for the level three. She took a breath. I, I took a singular breath. Ah. Quinny, Quinn Lord of Fowls. Win Lord of Owls, thank you very much for the prime. Yin Yang too, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you. Happy one year. Zaith, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy birthday to our Twitch sub baby. <sighs> I have coffee, two bottles of water. I think we're good to go today. Um, today we're playing Stanley Parable. Am I saying it right? Is it parable or parable? Like a parabola? <laughs> Seraphina on fire. Thank you so much for the... For the gift sub. Star, thank you so much for the 13 months. Star, thank you. Asimochi, thank you so much for the 6 months. I forgot what I was doing. Thank you so much for the tier 1. Happy 4 months. Better place badly. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you. You'll cry in this game? Cry from fear or sadness? I feel like you guys are being purposefully vague. Par parable. 
hair a bowl. Oh, okay. Stanley Parabola. Bro, shut up. Okay, listen. I I um I don't know. When I when I see a word I don't know, I just try to attribute it to like a pre-existing word in my head and it looks like parabola. I don't know. Fear? Is this a horror game or not? Excuse me. I I tweeted. I tweeted that my horror game arc was returning and then everyone made fun of me. It's a math game. Really? Wait, are you lying to me? So that makes it a horror game. If it's a math game, it's a horror game. Hi, Geary. It's definitely not a horror game. Why did you tweet that? I, I, I looked it up. I literally looked it up. I went on Google. I typed in Stanley Parable. Fuck. <laughs> Parable horror game. And then it says... And then the first the first article on win.gg says why players think Stanley Parable is a horror game. And then there's and then another there's another article called night calling it nightmare fuel. And then there's a Reddit thread that's like should I should I buy Stanley's Parable if I hate scary games? Okay, if if you just I just I looked it up and this is it says, okay, and then the third video in results says the Stanley Parable, a nightmare of narrative. And then the second the second video is like trapped in a secret. It looks like a fucking horror game. It's literally a comedy, bro. I don't know. I, I don't, oh, I, I don't, don't know. I don't trust you guys anymore. I truly don't. Fuck, man. Google said it was scary. Okay, I finally fixed, um, tits, so... Looks like it's going well. Kimmy, thank you so much for the two gifted! Seraphine on fire, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you! Seraphina of fire. I'm sorry. It's a... Okay, a comedy game with horror elements. <laughs> I can't tell! So... So... Is, is me getting roasted justified? Yes. Man, fuck you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to show you. Um, Here, I'll go to gaming so that we can see it. Don't listen to them, Val. Don't worry. The day I listen to chat is the day I get banned on Twitch. <laughs> Okay, check this out. Look, I got. How do I how do I zoom out? How do I zoom out? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh fuck. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh fuck. <laughs> I should really lock my gaming BG. Yoink. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. Check it out. Check. Oh, fuck. It's still so big. Wait, where'd it go? Fuck. I got this. I got this. I'm a streamer. I can do it. I'm a streamer. I can do it. I'm a streamer. I ha. Check this out. Sheesh! It's it's a mushroom growing kit. Um, I kind of impulsively bought it uh, <laughs> at this like night farmers market I went to yesterday. Um, I hung out with my mod Crystal, and I passed by this mushroom booth, and I've always wanted to be a cottage core girl, where I feel like a fairy living in a forest, and. Now I can be that by growing my own mushrooms. So this is the result of day one. Um, I, I got this box and it's full of like sawdust and stuff. And apparently it's supposed to mimic like a tree. So that the mushroom... Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Gandalf the Teak, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this is day one. Um, the mushroom is growing, I think. I cut an X in the little plastic bag thingy, and then I sprayed the block uh, with some water, and now I'm waiting. Need a sitter for the trip? Um, no, I, I think I'm good. The mushroom is growing. What? There's a mush. There are a bunch of mushrooms in here, 
And basically, there's going to be three flushes. Not like a toilet flush, but like a flush of growth. And after, after one flush, I'm going to cut all the mushrooms off and eat it. And then there's going to be another flush. And then another flush. Yes, they're edible. These are oyster elms. Elm oysters? Yeah, that's the kind of mushroom they are. And uh, they just need like a... They just need... What's it called? Indirect sunlight. So it's just chilling on my kitchen counter. Infinite food glitch. <laughs> uh, hi, Minnow. I'm so glad you could come. Uh, they're magic in that they spawn infinitely. These are... These are for food. <laughs> it's Minecraft, but in real life. Okay, so I was thinking... I was thinking that what if every mushroom that grows... I can, like, have a stream where... I don't know. We name the mushrooms and then I draw... And then I draw on the mushroom with, like, edible markers. And then we get to choose which mushroom we, like, cut off and start eating. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes my stream ideas are a hit or miss, but that's a terrible idea. What the fuck? I thought it would be fun. Man, fuck you guys. It sounds like a horror idea. <laughs> what? It's like naming your pig before you eat it. Bro, it's a mushroom. <laughs> the first sacrifice should be called Kyle. <laughs> How about Kevin Wynn? Chat is so mean to you for no reason. So true, Minnow. So true. Every day I show up and it's like, can you imagine? Can you imagine walking into your workplace and then the moment you step through the door, the entire crew just like groans like, oh, great. Bows here. That's literally you guys. That's literally my life. Man. You guys are laughing. You guys are laughing, but guess what? I'm crying. Ugh, she's live, Lamau. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Can't even... Can't have shit even in your own dojo. We love our pillow. Oh, thank you, dude sauce. Oh. <laughs> thank you, snowy card. <laughs> Thursday Toast, thank you so much for the eight months. Fallen Mage, thank you so much for the four months. Air Bronco, thank you so much for the seven months. From VN with love. Come on, bang. Thank you so much for the tier one. Ice Fire, thank you so much for the 13 months. It's been great. Year felt short and you're my favorite VTuber. Kibata, you're great. Ah, Ice Fire, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, thank you. Okay. First water bottle gone. <laughs> genius pillow princess. Aww. I'm a genius now? Oh. Oh, here we go. Bows live again. Man, fuck you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Quinn, for the bits. Hey, is my tits broken? <laughs> tits, you doing good? I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it do a thing in a while. Let's let's figure this out. Um, um, um. Can there be like resubs? It's subs. Um. Oh, I guess this is. Huh. Give subs. <laughs> subs. Any tier. Prime. Tier 1, tier 1, tier 2. Any tier. Yeah, it should be any tier, right? I have no idea. Man, maybe I'm just stupid. I'll figure it out again. I can't be grateful enough to be here with chat and all of us loving to be here so much. I guarantee you all the people here are inspired by you and everything you do no matter what. Anyways, I really want to be here with you and chat. Thank you for the amazing times being here. You make me... And chat, really happy, way too much. We love you so much. Thank you for everything. Even though I'm very new here, I'm gonna say this for chat. Thank you for being an amazing streamer. What the heck? Such a sweet.
sweet message. Oh, thank you. I'm best boy. Oh, 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 oh. Ice fire. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Shadow bunny cup. Thank you so much for the one year. Why does chat smell like maple syrup? There are ants now, and I'm itchy. Um, um, it's a it's a part of this social experiment I'm doing. Um, you just have to trust the process. I'll I'll let you know what uh what all of this means, but yeah yeah I'll I'll, I'll just let you know. I'll keep you in the loop. Check back in a week. <laughs> wait 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 wait. Hold on hold on hold on. Oh you you but. Anyways, let's see. Close this, close this. I guess it's bully time. Okay, okay, I guess it's bully time. Man. I come here, a great mood, and now I'm a bottom. Okay. I have downloaded the game, so... Do, 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 do. Oh no! Let me just get this game capture. Stanley Parable. Fuck! Stanley Parable. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're doing this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna turn it uh that's the dono bar okay and then I'm gonna put where to go where's my chat box Oh no you guys are big as hell There we go. All right, perf. And then I'm gonna take my big ass head. I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna take my alerts and make it a little smaller. Okay, all right, are we ready? Set game Stan, Stan Stanley Parable. Yes. Perfect. Silver Fox, thank you so much for the tier one. Silk Sash Era, thank you so much for the 14 months pug. Shane, thank you so much for the 500 bits. CMK, thank you so much for the 10 months. Goat Lord, thank you so much for the four months. Uh, thank you. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove tits. I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna open it again, and then I'm gonna add it because it seems like it doesn't want to work. Okay, that's not it. Game capture? Allow transparency. Okay. Should be fine now. Bruh. Ma. 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 Hold up, y'all. What the? Oh, you know what? Transform. Reset. No? Fit to screen? Fit to screen? Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go, there we go. Then, I'll just take my fat fucking head. Put it here. Pray to God. Okay. Question mark. Are we good now? Man. God? Is that you? Question mark? We Gucci? I think we're Gucci. Okay. That box? 
God, is that you? Okay, cool. Every day I suffer. I'm unbelievably psyched right now. I am gonna shit myself. Uh, let me turn this shit off. Okay, there we go. Let's get this shit. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? No. Please adjust the slider until the computer is just barely visible. Mike. What it looks like for me, I guess. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on, chat. I figured it out. It's so skip subs. Throw for every hundred bits. There we go. And what if I opened it again? Hopefully it works. Sorry, I the, it, it got a new update and I've been having a stroke because of it. Bro? You know why these bitches love me? Why? Cause Decker don't give a fuck. What? what? Be fixing her <laughs> why are we playing she sucking my this, bro? Out, then I titty fuck. I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. I... I be cool on him, bitch, ain't no pressure. Uh -uh. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk, look how she talk, she's sexy. I Why? Like the ghetto. Type of bitch I don't even say hello. Why? Fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Uh, uh, now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Uh, you guys are so cursed. You're trying to turn my stream into a Numi stream, bro. Uh, okay. I guess we're starting the game now. Are we ready now? Have we have we gotten the horny out of our systems? <laughs> Geek girl, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you, Anonymous Dragon Slayer, for my sub gift. Holy peck, it's been a year already. Happy 13 months, pal. You always make me smile and look forward to your streams when I get the chance to stop by. Oh, you know thank you, Geek girl. I'm so sorry we're listening to this audio. You guys are so stupid. Kage! Lear Geta, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Kim Bong's Blue, thank you so much for the half year. Bao, Miso Pregante, send money. What the fuck? Lear Geta, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Shane, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And the 500 bits. Booch, thank you so much for the prime. Go Lord, thank you so much for the four months. Nice ears, thank you. CMK, thank you so much for the 10 months, CMK. Silver Fox, thank you so much for the tier one. Man, fuck you guys. Why these bitches love me? Me, we are. This is the story of a man named Stan. Wait, can't even. Okay, I'm gonna just wait. Loot, thank you, thank you, so much, cool him, bitch, that, yeah, thank you so much for the three months. I be cool on him, bitch. That, yeah, that was way too cheap. Nessietopia, I, I wholeheartedly agree. It's not even funny anymore. Just because you keep doing it doesn't make it any funnier. Headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Oh my. That shit like a Camaro. Damn, we really playing Stanley's Parabola right now. DJ Rocks, thank you so much for the seven months. It's never ending. It truly isn't. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Hello? Wait, I fucked up. Begin the game again. <laughs> Wait, fuck. I missed the... I missed the thing. Wait, we have to start over. I accidentally skipped it. Okay, okay, okay. This is the story of a man already, named Yeah, I already, already fucked up. No lore. No lore. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay, this isn't employee scary. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Hey, that's me! That's Orders me! Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. That's me! Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This yeah. is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. 
and although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made the exactly volume okay, for this job. And Stanley was happy. It's scary already. And then already. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something <laughs> that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, Excuse you, frozen chat. solid, Stanley found himself Thanks unable to dude. move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and Commander, regained his I thank senses, you so much for the two months. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, are we playing now? All right. So I'm just figuring out what to do. Damn. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why does this feel like um a Christmas game? I think it's the music and the narrator. It makes me feel like I'm I'm about to wreck someone's Christmas spirit by sliding down their chimney. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. My left. Then what? Okay. Yet there was not a single person here Tips either. for not getting Feeling fired. A wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's <gasps> office. Hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute. Let it ball up inside you. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Take it out passive-aggressively on other co-workers. <laughs> Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header. Throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive environment. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. What is hot? Profit. What do people want? Things, mo money, more money, things, but with more money. Number of slides on this slide. Slides, charts, charts and slides. Rate at which charts are on the same slide depict the same information. That This is so true. I learned this in statistics. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please no more charts. I'm begging. Stop, 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 stop. The boss appreciation minute. On your boss appreciation minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love the most about your boss. Fill out the triplicate and return your boss appreciation specialist. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you've ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict, unless you're the kind of person who initiates conflict, why did we hire you? What are your dreams for the future? Nature, talk radio, a transcend, plant, life, football, lunch, for travel, metamorphosis, comatose, less air, spring break, clear skin. This is great. Um, yeah, this is a little, this is a little on the nose, I think. We have our new product. The stock market is somewhere here. What is this? We need a hopeless reviews by quarterly. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net, some sort of child trap. Throw some something in the ideas bin. No more bins, trash can. Do renaming of the ideas on 30. Firing of me. Ideas bin. This is a little sad. I mean, I guess this is just like some sort of like marketing department. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What the fuck? Why is it so luxurious? What the fuck? Okay, what is up with Staring bosses? Manager's office, having huge was offices. To discover not an and for what? Of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. 
What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. The and so terrible the boss had truth. It, an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, four. five. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random uh -huh, buttons uh -huh, on the uh -huh. keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. I was such a good mind. girl, following Amazing. all directions. Ah, thank you. Passageway. I have an emo for that way. Ah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why, Kage? Why? Bertrand Jacob, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you for the gifts up, Kage. Wait, wait, wait. What? Where? Oomst? Did I? I'm confused. I don't get it. Oh, here. <laughs> What's this? This is... kind of... Spooky? I guess? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. What does this mean? What does this mean? I'm... Whoa. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape? Mind Control Facility? Well... I wanna... know... what this is. I'm a curious cat, you see. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? God damn. This is like all the way to Earth's core or something. I hate Mondays. Dude, does everyone have this mug? Like, what's going on here? I don't get it. Ooh, numbers on a sheet. What does it all mean? What's this? Now, Surveillance camera? To life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh. Wait, how are they monitoring us? Is it just like through random stuff or... Oh, I see. There's like cameras hidden everywhere. Okay. What this button do? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really Cat, been look, we're on TV. Say hi time? to your moms. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh, nor. Or nor. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? We're simply all cogs. But here was I'm the sorry, proof. chat. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he 
would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yo? Console... Con... <laughs> console disabled. I'm stupid, you see. Um... So, I'm, I'm dismantling the Burj de Bourgeoisie, the, pro, the proletariat. Wait, what? I forgot. Which one is which? What, which one is the working class? The bourgeoisie? My streamer can't read. What? Proletariat? Bougie equals rich member. We must... We must take down the bourgeoisie. We, the proletariat, must rise. We must take down capitalism. And in place of it, put more capitalism. But like, for us. You know? Like, not for the bourgeoisie. We need capitalism, but like, for... For the proletariat. And... And then after that, I'm going to make a really big zoo. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna dedicate 75% of the earth to animals and for the earth to heal. And then I'm gonna push Bikini Bottom somewhere else. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my biblically accurate um, uh, plan to save the world? The CIA wants to know your location. Wait, what's this? Mind controls, idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. You lost me at you mispronouncing console. <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? I, I just am not lucky when it comes to the 50-50. Cyber Ronin, thank you so much for the sub. Lurking Thanks. for love, thank you so much for the sub. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Chaos, thank you so much for the bits. Corporal Peaches, happy three months. Do the what now? Happy one month. Yes. Insta give, happy four he months. Had one. He had defeated the machine. We've defeated the machine. From someone We're free from command. the machine. Freedom was mere moments away. We're not a cog yet, anymore. Even as the immense door slowly Ooh, opened, big door. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Guys, we we beat the game. How had from the machine's grasp? Oh, hi, Tenha! Thank you so much for the five gifted. But as sunlight streamed Nam into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. I'm free! Whatever life he lives, it will be his. I'm a god, motherfucker! That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. I'm living off Stand the fucking grid, motherfucker! The I'm living off the land, motherfucker! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I'm touching grass. The feeling oh, of liberation. Grass! The immense possibility oh, of the new path. The cool. Him. The this cool, was soft exactly blade the of grass against right my now, skin. That things were meant to happen. It's just too good to be true. And Stanley was happy. Oh, happiness. Ah, siyawase da ne. Seishun da ne. Hello? Now to get the other endings. Wait, what? That was an ending. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, we're speed what running. What did it mean? Shut up. Stanley decided Shut up. to go to the meeting room. Shut up. Perhaps he had simply missed a Shut memo. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. When Stanley came to a set of two open Fuck doors, you. this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Fuck you, eat my ass. 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five <laughs> years <laughs> That's ago. That's me! That's me! Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but okay, you I pull up. all this time. How about at the after party? Been neglecting Stanley. Yeah, that are friends and a da 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 da. Oh, Queen Please. Cat, thank you Don't so much for waiting. Uh, look, I'm a Queen I'm Cat too. Me, I'm asking for her. <gasps> Did this fucking narrator just threaten me? Her? He's asking for her? Who's that, my wife? Ain't no shot, bro. Who the hell is this guy? Who? Hey! Hey, come out here, you pussy! I'm not scared. I'm this not scared. Stanley. Your chance to redeem Why don't you redeem these nuts on your chin, your huh? Aside, it's only five gifted. Her back into your life. She's been waiting. She's been waiting. What's this? <gasps> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I just wanted to see if it was possible. She's climbing to the top ladder! All of his co-workers were gone. Um... What could it mean? So Stanley yeah, I, I, uh, you're welcome, Perhaps guys. That's our, that's uh, the second ending. Um, not many people have uh, come across it since uh, you know it, it takes it takes a person with really when high Stanley IQ a and a, a doors, huge set of balls to uh, this was not uh, accomplish to such a feat. You know? Well. Did you know there's fall damage the in, in Stanley first, Parable? Just to admire it. Did I hear five gift? Hi, Steve. Thank you so much for five gifted. <laughs> wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad years ago. Penalty for misuse of cargo. Penalty for jumping off the cargo <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I died and I owe people money? Bro, not Look, even Stanley, in death. Perhaps we've Am I free from the, the shackles of I'm not capitalism? Enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone, someone I've been neglecting? About. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. Which I'm asking for this is it, Stanley. Your <laughs> chance to redeem yourself, <laughs> To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Where am I? Woo! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Hello? What is this? Hello? Hello? You? <gasps> Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? No, you actually. Their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm a Twitch I'm streamer. To, get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Damn. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Really? That's... I, th I think we just established that. <laughs> Maidenless Stanley? No women? Come Gogai? <laughs> God, no. Hold on. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. Bathroom break. Hop out at the after party. You know 
why these bitches love me? Why? Cause Decker don't give a fuck. What you do? I be fixing her weave while she's sucking my dick. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. Uh, uh. I fuck her from the back and she nasty. Killing her, know how I give it up. Yeah. I'd be cool on him, bitch, ain't no pressure uh-uh. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan This little thing here, a stallion Look how she walk, look how she talk, she's sexy I like when they pretty and ghetto Type of bitch that don't even say hello And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back Put her in a headlock with my elbow Now she done reversed it Had up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro What the fuck? <laughs> literally have no sense of humor anymore eggs nihilo thank you so much for the tier one jinky zero thank you so much for the prime elder mind pulse thank you so much for the 13 months egg nihilo thank you so much for the two gifted it's steve who thank you so much for the 26 dono what the heck is this enough for some instant noodles bro that is enough for like 50 instant noodles thank you so much Axel Nova, thank you so much for the eight months. Okay. Good morning, employee number 427. Press J on your keyboard. Hold on. Can I take a bite of my hot dog? I, I've, been, I've been waiting. Mm. 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 Mmm, <laughs> puppy. It's hot dogs and bussin. You want a bite, puppy? It's really good. Okay, press J. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press G. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's Aww. pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. That's such a lie, though. I don't think... No one choose. Okay, if, if we truly, like... If we truly had free will in this economy and that in, in such a way that allowed us to survive and thrive and be happy, do you think do you think we would actively choose to work in a box and click away our life all day? <laughs> God damn it, you but guys. In his mind, ah, Prove my point! In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From Isn't that streaming, desk, though? Stanley okay, you have a point. Okay, you literally have a point. The unknown. Fantastic discoveries. I love my lands. box. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. What does that mean? And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Oh, Stanley bricked up, hmm. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Mm. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Mm -hmm. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many oh, directions. Whoa. And the room down is another changing. was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh! Roll credits. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. 
Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. One more time? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Whoa. I bet this apartment goes for like 7k a month in New York. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm good. Do I press it? Hmm? I mean, how long will it be? What if I don't press the button? Is there like a way? You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Mm hmm. I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What the fuck? Bro? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ooh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... I'm gonna try going through the escape door. Yet there was not a single Is this the deluxe edition? Either. Yes. Feeling a wave That's the deluxe disbelief. edition. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover hmm. not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began oh, wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, oh, no. desperate for clues to his situation. Oh, no. Oh, no. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Steve, thank you so much for the rush to get the story as Rimey quickly Eel, as possible. Happy one he year. didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Oh, that my kind bad. Of anxiety isn't healthy. Oh shit, so my bad. For a few okay, damn, I'm with sorry. I just All right, you can keep all right, well now, fuck! Now I have to actually chill! It's, uh, it's definitely new age. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Seethe. Jewy Oki, thank you very much for the prime. You heard his feelings? I didn't mean to. He's just, he has such a grandiose way of pronouncing words. It takes too long. I have ADHD. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 
Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. We'll see about that. The door behind him was not we'll shut. We'll see about that. Stanley still had every opportunity <gasps> oh to turn gosh. around and get back on track. I'm calm now. Thank you so point, much for the raid. Was a please, please enjoy your stay. Guys, if you could, if oh, if you guys have not followed Kason on Twitch and YouTube yet, please do. Kason has an amu amazing, beautiful Yakuza uh, model, and I'm I'm a big fan. She's actually God. And if you subscribe to her, you add 10 years to your lifespan. It's actually confirmed. Wait, did I? Oh. Wait. Wait, I didn't die, though. I didn't die. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Okay, maybe I will Stanley perish. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no um, great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Can't I just so hop off? Designed and willingly accepted this violent oh, end I really can't hop off, can I? Life. Farewell, Stanley. Why is the ball crusher 9000 underneath my desk? Hello? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Wait, Stanley was led who's this woman? into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Huh? Maiden? Maidens? Oh, yeah! Uh, this Friday, y'all. Emotional damage! Yes! Emotional damage. This Friday at 3 p.m. PST, I'll be playing Labyrinthine with Kaysan, Socho, and Pikami, and Shy Lily. So don't miss that, okay? Anyways, um, somehow we lived. And there's a new character that's been introduced. Wait, what is this? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Huh? Oh, this is when new. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making oh. life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? That's true. That is true. I, I think this has to do with philosophy. Um, I remember I was reading this book back in high school where, like, there's a theory that no matter what decision you make in life, uh, the events in your life have already been predetermined. And no matter what decisions you, like, try to make, you will always end up at the same conclusion. Um, and it's an illusion of free will. Is it determinism? No, it's not nihilism. Ah, uh, determinism. It's not capitalism. <laughs> Damn, so I'm just fucked then? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I mean, it's kind of like the glass half full sort of thing. If you believe in nihilism, you can you can interpret it in two different ways. You can think life is meaningless. Or you can interpret it as Life is meaningless, which is like, who fucking cares? I'm going to die anyway. I should just like do whatever I want. And then the other, the other side of the coin is just life doesn't matter. 
That's it. Wait, is this the end of the game? Did I beat the game? Well, now I'm sad. Don't be sad. Nothing matters. <laughs> Corridor. The pacing of the opening. Oh, hey. Interesting. Alter to make sure that it reaches the two doors in good time. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Um... Button sounds. Oh. What's this? 4-3 through 4-3-6? Is this just a museum of the game? Uh... Screenshots? Oh... I don't know. What, what does all of this mean? How do I get out of here? Way to bring down the mood, Bao. Uh, the, uh, the mood has already been down, bro. We've just learned that my character's been dead the moment we press start game. Please stop playing this! You know why these bitches oh, love me? look at these I two. Give a fuck. How they I wish to destroy one another. Suck my dick. <sighs> Oh, how they both know how to be it free. I'd be cool on them, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing Why? Her Look how she walk. Look how she talk. She's sexy. I like when they pretty. <laughs> uh, type of bitch I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Thank you, Deku. Thank you for fixing the vibes. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, I can't see no, anything. Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Steve! -o! You know why these bitches love me? But listen to me. You, you can still save these two. Can you can stop the program before they both fail. I fuck her Push escape. We press quit. You know how I give it up. Yeah. I'd be cool on them, bitch. Ain't no I did it. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look how she talk. She's sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch this I don't even say hello. This is a story of a man named Stamp. Whenever we fuck, she'd be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed. Did I do it? Up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Hey, yo, good job. Now what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the good meeting. Good girl, pal. Perhaps he had Hi. simply missed a memo. I'm good girl. Z Tai, thank you so much for the tier one. Smash, thank you so much for seven months. Sleepy Pudin, thank you so much for tier one. Marcius, thank you so much for tier one. Scientific determinism is basically just everything is just matter and energy interacting, which can be predicted by the laws of physics, and thus everything is predetermined. That is true. I mean, there's like laws that happen, and so there's only like so many like, I guess, possibilities of things happening in a lifetime. Good job, the narrator got into your head. Our streamer is smart. Aw, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, my VTS thing is not open, but I can turn on smug. Smug, 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 smug. <laughs> smug, smug, smug. So, we got an ending. You should hang out in the broom closet. Broom closet. There's a broom closet? Hmm. Hmm. No matter how Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. <laughs> He's on to me! He's on to me! All the doors are locked. I can't... 
I'm touching, I'm clicking, I'm touching. It's in the left door. The left door? Having everything in here. Wiggled the doorknob five times. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? There's Click an achievement? Door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits please. away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. <gasps> 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Really? Okay, bet. Four thirty, specifically door four thirty. Okay, okay, noted, noted. Um, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing. Please give it to me. To yes, yeah, so nicely. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. Anytime now, anytime now, anytime now. I got this. I got this. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling Oh out. my. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has the to be a, this a narrator, true reward Mr. For valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? 417? Where's door 417? Four ones. Four one seven. Four one seven. Oh here. Hop 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 hop. Go click a few times on door four three seven. Oh, okay, we're going back now. I think four three seven. Four three seven. Eh? No? Eh? Oh, here, here, here. Excellent. I think okay, we're okay, getting okay. somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 10 clicks. 415. 415. 415. 415. Almost there, almost there. Uh, here. Now, back to door number 437. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going. 437. 437. Oh. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Oh, he's so excited. I think he's turning. I think he's really turning around. <laughs> Please. Uh, please! Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I'm all right, let's it keep now. it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh, you got it, boss! Where am I? Oh, fuck. 416. We've almost got We've it! Almost got now it. the copy machine, do that one again! We've got it! Uh, 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 uh. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door it. four three Wait. zero! Yes! Woo! We did it! Woo! Oh wow, <gasps> that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing We're could hold you back. Crap! Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really? Yeah. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? Yeah. It just feels good. Man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Frenchie. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without everyone's encouragement. Dar, thank you so much for the tier one. Nuga Psycho, thank you very much for the prime. Sitai, thank you very much for the tier one. 
Did you even get an achievement? Yes, I actually when did. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Steve, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. So, like... What was it about this room? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door Is this the Val who went beyond just clicking five times on door 430? It sure is, Mogi! It sure fucking is! What's this? And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, I've never been here before. I've never been here before. This is new. This is new. But I got an ending. I got an ending. He wanted to wander about and get even further. Weird salad. Track. Thank you for the bit. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Um. Uh, huh? Uh, da, 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 da. T no, take your time. And here it's um. Uh huh. Left. 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 Huh? Oh no! The door closed. Tom Nook, thank you so much for the gracious 200 bits. Sayu, oh, no. thank you so no, much for the eight months. Right. Mistake. You were just playing this yesterday. Yo, did you did you enjoy it? I I played it just now. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, not the what? Right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Okay, just what admit it, narrator. You're fucking lost. It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh my. Dude, this guy. Let's see, we went down right, left, down. Bro. Left, right. How big yeah, is this yeah, place? Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. He's not gonna juke me, right? Like, this is really the way? Hello? There's a car. Can I get inside of it? Nor? Nor? I guess not. I'll just I'll just keep going. No, 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 no. What? This isn't what? Right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Oh Quick fuck! Stanley, we got a spoiler. Uh, okay, um, okay, 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 okay. We just we just have to get back to um. Oh, my eyes are closed. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Rubbish. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this no, nonsense, no, no, no. we can fix we'll this. just restart the game from what? the beginning. That's not fair. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. I worked so hard from to get top. here. I do. I worked so hard to get there. Man, what the? Emotional damage. Emotional damage. The narrator really said too bad. Well, d does he take your achievement? Take away your achievement too? No, I, I got I got a thing for that. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, so is a horror game or not? <laughs> I don't know, chat. Is this a horror game? Why don't you guys answer for me? She doesn't know? What? What? She doesn't know? What? I don't get it. I, I don't know. What did I miss? Did I miss something? Wait, what? The streamer is unaware. What? I... When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. <gasps> completely fresh. Wait, we kept Everything going! Be... We kept going! Did something change? <gasps> Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... How the fuck do I move Hold a story, on. bro? Well, I'm, I'm, an, I'm basically I'm an NPC. I'm the the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's find the story? What does that mean? Question mark. Chat, what the hell's going on? Am I gonna get bamboozled again? This game is giving me trust issues. The true horror are the friends we made along the way. 
It's a pretty pretty bold statement. Just just find out. Enter the back rooms. Fuck! We really are in the fucking back rooms, bro. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I, I don't know. You tell me, narrator. Starting over and over again. Giga, thank you so much for the 19 months. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh. Okay. My good people, have you heard of Twitch Prime? Did you know that by linking your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch, you can get a monthly sub to any Twitch channel, specifically Bao, for free? Oh my god, Giga Downs, thank you so much for reminding everybody that Twitch Prime exists. And thank you so much for the 19 months. That one, that guy, that one guy X, thank you so much for the bits. Did anyone tell her about the ghoulish butt monster? Is that a euphemism for me? Winded Dragon, thank you so much for the Prime. Anyways, any Primers? Neptune, thank you so much for the bits! Uh, thank you, thank you. Eggs Nihilo, thank you very much for the bits. Nariety, thank you so much for the Prime! TSL Cabo, thank you so much for the four months! Uh, thank you, friends. Ow! Oh, Smoogie, thank you so much for the gift sub! Thank you! All of his it was nice meeting you at Offkai. Oh, it was nice meeting you too, Giga! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply I still remembered you. I was like, which Giga? And he was like, Giga these nuts. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. What's going on now? I'm sorry. Who? Okay, yep. It's worse. Oh, shit! I might be remembering this wrong. Yo. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Wrong code? No code? No HTML? Al, how'd you break the game? I don't know. When you forget to cherish it. Steve, thank you so much for the five gifted! Thank you! Oh, thank you! What was going on? What's this? I just saw something on the computer. What does that mean? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Am I playing a fun game? Look, look, look. I, I clicked it and then and then the computer screen turned uh -huh. black. I knew we'd miss something. The what? story. The Here it story. Comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh fuck. I don't know how to retrace my steps. I'm really bad at retracing my steps. I almost never know where, where I parked in the parking lot. I always have to use my panic button. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place Bro, at are all. we in Resident Evil? <laughs> I don't think so. Bro, this is Biohazard! Recall, but I oh, Steve, thank you so much for the 10 gifted! Building. Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Thank you so much, Steve. Well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! I won! Congratulations! No shot. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Bro, what can I say? Oh, no. I'm just no, kind of a gamer. Feel right about this at I all. fucking we won. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some Bro? people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. This is that was really a mean thing time, to say. I have to restart. Um. Is that really like? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a hospital now. <laughs> the line. I'm at Disney World right now. Follow this line for funny hee ha ha moments. Sai Ai Chan, Sai Ai Chan. Thank you so much for the three months. You won, Pog. Luca Pog moment. Nice Deek. Thank you very much for the tier one. Double D's six five eight. Thank you very much for the prime. Dance like butterfly wings. Thank you so much for the prime. Purple. Thank you so much for the prime. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for the primes. I really appreciate it. Oh fuck! We hit level five. I'm right. nutting. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help 
of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just no. follow the line. How simple is that? I have to turn the computers off. It's really important. We can't waste electricity. Keep it off, keep it off, keep it off. Is it off? Is it off? Dip, 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 dip. Okay, done. Hi, Neko. Oh my god, those ears. Aw, thank you. If you type in the command VTuber assets, you too can have cat ears. The one crow. Thank you very much for the prime. Are you the one crow from season six of Rick and Morty? You see? The line knows How are you liking the, the game? Is. Um, it's over in this direction. It's, Onward, it's Stanley, funny and to silly. Destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Keep going. Now we can both agree. T take your that time. The nature of existence the nature... is in fact a byproduct of by one product. subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence uh -huh. rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, okay. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Whoa. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Um, I'm not sure where I was going with all that. Uh, you know what? I think what we need right now <laughs> is a bit of music. Chat, yeah, has anyone seen Who Asked? Wait, what? <laughs> What's happening? I don't understand. It's, it's crazy. It's too crazy. I just wanted a nine to five. What? what? What in the... This is... Everything on the wall is just word salad. We must find the story. I don't feel like there has been a story yet. I feel like it's just been like a weird Wait, meta commentary. Go back and look at that fern. Oh, okay, okay, pet. Stanley, this fern will be very important Ooh. later in the story. Guys, guys, Make chill out. Sure this fern. Closely. And remember it carefully. There's just something about you this won't fern. Miss anything. Guys, there's something about this fern. Guys, 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 focus, focus, focus. You and me, you and me, your eyes, my eyes, this fern. Uh. Okay. All right. Okay, one more, one more time. Mm. Yeah. It's a really good fern. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a big fan of this fern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just the way that the leaves just... So green and just really... Yeah, I just... God, I love the way that it just creates chlorophyll and releases oxygen into the air. And uh, I love that it's, uh... It's, uh... It's, uh... It's, uh a eukaryote cell and uh that it's mm, wow yeah thanks for that just got a little gassy thinking about this fern for so long <sighs> all right sorry 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 i i got a little yeah uh, it, it was for the plot it was it was for the plot it was for the plot we're, we, we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going wait what we're what? back at the office no, 
No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Line Parable, Line TM. Right? The story? Is any of this ringing a the bell? The Stanley Parable? I like that we're calling it the Stanley Parable now. Okay. Do I just, just swallow it anywhere? Like, it doesn't... It's just gonna lead me there, right? To the... Oh, oh no, 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 not again. We fucked up. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, Line. after everything we've been through, you... I fucking oh, hate I you, Steve. You know why these bitches love me? Restart. This deck, I don't give a fuck. What you do? I be fixing her weave while she's sucking my dick. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. I fuck her from Creeper the, the Dark Gamer. Thank you so much for the tier up. three. I'd Holy crap. Thank thing. you so much, Creeper. Happy seven months. Tesla, thank you very much for the four months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Creeper, you're so pog. Thank you so much for the tier three. I forgot what I was doing. Thank you so much for the tier three, too. And happy four months. I forgot what I was doing. Mew, yo! You know why these love me? This Decker don't give a fuck. What you do? I'm just gonna sip on this Capri Sun. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. I fuck her from the back and she nasty. Killing her. Know how I give it up. I'd be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walks. Look how she talks. She's sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch that don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that You're shit listening like to my Capri Sun. Please raise the price. Chrissy, thank you so much for the seven months. Not tier three or primer, though. No, don't. Hatch, that's so amazing. Thank you. I'm not. You know why these bitches love me? Why? Cause Deku don't give a fuck. What you do? I Please release me. Please fucking release me. I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up? Please I release me. No Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here is stallion. That's it. Look how she walk. That's Look how she it. Talk. She's sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Again! You know why these bitches love me? I didn't change it in time, chat. Please forgive me. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. At what point? I on them, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look Everyone she refresh talks. your Sexy. Twitch page. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch that don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Uh. I... I, I, you know I, Decker don't give a fuck. I, I it's literally like at a thousand out, bits right now. I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. Steve, I cool on a no uh -uh. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look how she want to raise it to 10,000 like bits? Pretty and ghetto. You guys are insane. No. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. I really don't I want you to spend that much money for a fucking sound alert. That shit like a Camaro. This is a this is a horror game now. Do it, you won't. You know what, Stanley? Wait, what? I say, forget the adventure line. Oh shit! What's it ever done for no, us? we're moving on from we're the adventure line. People, right? Why can't we make up our own story? <gasps> Something exciting. Yeah, let's just make up our own story. Fuck Ooh, this shit, bro. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't yeah, we yeah, yeah. start wandering in? Well, I don't know. Yeah, How yeah. about this direction? Ooh, oh. Narrator and I are being a little frisky. You know why these bitches love oh, okay, now, now it's anonymous, so we can't call you fucking out. Who did that? I fuck her from it's the one of you guys. It no certainly I wasn't me. I'd be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here is Oh Look my. How she Look how she talks. She's sexy. You know what? I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch that don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. All right. All right. With my elbow. Now she done reverse. You got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. You've pushed my hand. Let's do 2,000 bits. You know why I, these bitches love me? I put down give a fuck. the blue eyes, white dragon. Go fish. Nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. 
I'd be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Surely. So I met this little freak, her name Megan. Surely you guys have girl. some self-control. She talk, she's sexy. That one guy X, thank you very much for the bit. This is one of the funniest streams for me tonight. Unfortunately, it's just my life. Megan Elise, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you. I love primers. You guys do not smell musty like my chef. He's stuck one in while it was still. The end, butcher. Thank hello. you very much for this sub. Just disable it. Soul Gen. Thank you very much for the ten months. Thank you. Oh my God! Look at so many. Oh my. Just pay you to disable it? Okay, okay. You know what? You know, all right. That's it. I fuck her from the back and she That's it. Know how I give it up. I'd be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. How about how about five thousand bits? Look how she walk. Look how she talk. She's five thousand bits. That is so. That is actually. I don't even want to go to ten k yet. If we go to ten k, I'm scared. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Thank you, new daddy home. Thank you so much for. The you know why these bitches Who love that? Me? Why? Lira Geta. All right. I'm timing y'all out. I'm fucking timing you guys out. I fuck her from the Lost Topia. Thank you so much for the nine months. Happy birthday to our Twitch sub baby. I think you are underestimating chat. I'm not underestimating you guys. I just assumed you guys would have suck at you. I'm tired of raving. Everyone's tired of dancing. Up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Are we... Are we safe yet? Are we... When are the... Please! How do you keep sticking the bin? I literally changed it the moment that I said it! Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. I fucking hate my hero academia. I'm never watching that shit ever again after this stream. Whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back <laughs> in a headlock with my elbow. Uh, uh, now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Uh. I. You know why these bitches love me? Why? Cause Deku don't give a fuck. What you do? I be fixing her weave while she's sucking my dick. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. Uh, uh. I fuck her from the back and she nasty. Killing her. Know how I give it up. Yeah. I'd be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Uh -uh. Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look how she talks. She's when sexy. will I it like end? Get get him. Type of bitch, I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking Please back. make Put it stop. With my elbow. Please. Oh, she Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Uh. I already raised it. I already raised it. You know why these bitches love me? I literally did! I quite literally did! I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. I'd be cool. What if I said it? Till I met this little freak, her name Megan. The subscriber only. Look how she talks, she's sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch, I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock. I can't. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. <gasps> is it are we are we is it real I'm, my ears are they are they not deceiving me oh I think I think we're safe I think we're safe! Yeah! Glorious silence! Gotchi gasm! Okay, just for just for surviving that, I feel like that was an ach You know why these bitches love me? Uh, 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 
Make it stop 2022! I can't! It's literally at the fucking max amount! I can't make it any higher! Steve Vu, thank you for the bits. I was going to do it again and saw you raised it to 10k! Steve Vu, you're a menace! I will... I'm putting it on cooldown for the time being. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Story? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I I'm Shane, ready for thank it. you so much for bits. I have $25 left in my bank, but we bing chilling? Shane. Please tell me that isn't true. Oh, no. Do I need a you refund again? you? Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be hey, fine. Hey, are we? Is our relationship with narrator... kinda improving? Because at first he was, like, kinda evil to us, but now, you know... Uh, is shit turning around, bro? Hmm. I don't know. M maybe we can... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we can work something out. You know? That one guy X, thank you so much for bits. You stayed strong. Thank you. Mental Fortitude is my middle name. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Ooh. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In opportunity. fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Oh, I mean, I kind okay. of already was, you so know? I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Which uh -huh. means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go... Right, right. There must be a reverse door that leads here. A reverse, and that in turn okay. Means that our destination corresponds uh -huh. with a counter inverted reverse door's origin. All so right. starting from the right, let us ask okay. Will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts um, the door on the right is the correct one. So another victory for logic. So come Stanley. So we're our going destiny awaits. We're going to the right. The confusion oh, ending. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I oh, restart there's a schedule. again. Then what? Nice. Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Oh shit, what if the narr- Oh my god, the narrator is this, stuck this too! Thing determinism! Wall. This is- I called well, it! I called it! it. It's determinism! I'm so smart! Somewhere. I am you a smart- I get a Smart wheel! Is it really- No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like it's this. It's not determinism though? I won't though? restart the Wait, game. Really? I won't do it. I, I thought won't it was though. It. I won't do it. And the timer to oh. stopped? What? Does that mean... Um, Hello? Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? What? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? <laughs> Will something happen? Dude. So. Okay. Bro, if the narrator's panicking, so am I. I guess now we just wait. You know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm I, not I quite guess. sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Ooh. 
Okay. Well, in the meantime, if you... What just happened? What just happened? Did... Did narrator Kuhn just get fired? That one guy, thank you so much for bits. Hage, thank you so much for the gift sub. Peachy Poops, happy 16 months. Thank you, thank you, Peachy. Wizauron, thank you so much for the three months. Therion, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Lostopia, happy nine months. Lostopia, happy birthday to our Twitch sub, baby. Opa T Fark Square, thank you very much for the tier one. Happy half year. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cell car, thank you so much for the two months. Are you in purgatory? Yeah, am I? Am I in purgatory? Or are you in purgatory? Yeah? 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 Please laugh. Please? 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 Man, fuck you guys. I Even gave you that now, for free. Stanley's office was a distant memory. Fuck you guys. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps. And a painting. Was it a painting? Or a photo? He could no longer recall. A painting? No matter how hard Stanley Jesus looked, Bob! he couldn't find Wait! a trace of his co -workers. This jacker don't give a fuck. What'd you do? I be fixing her weave while she's sucking my dick. Pull it out, then I titty fuck. I fuck her from the back and she nasty, killing her. Know how I give it up. I be cool on him, bitch. Ain't no pressure. Uh, Until hold I met up. this little freak, her name Megan. Uh, this little up. thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look how she talk. Hold she's up. sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch I don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in a headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed it. Got up on the dick and ride that shit like a Camaro. Hey. Hey, Beijing boy. Hey, Beijing boy. This, uh, this you? This you? Hey, Beijing boy, this you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you embarrassed after playing that alert now, huh? This decker don't give a fuck. Ah! I be fixing her weave while she's sucking my dick. Pull it up that? my Snowing heart, you're fucking next. You're fucking next, knowing heart. This you, bro? This you, homie? You know, I'm something of a bow enjoyer myself. Look how she walk. Look how she talk. She's sexy. I like when they pretty and get them. This dude. I don't even say hello. <laughs> I'm pulling up the Twitter. <laughs> VIP this man. I don't have any more VIPs. I want to though. Can I do it? Unable to add VIP. I have too I have too many. <laughs> I love that tweet. Thank you. Thank you for spending uh, the stupid amount that you've just spent on that sub alert. That one guy, thank you so much for the bits. Um, so now we're looking for... Um, I'll sacrifice me for him. Okay, Summer. You're next. You're, you're on my call-out list. <laughs> well, huh? Hello? Why did the door close? I can do that? Wait, oh, I forgot what we were doing. I'm looking for a painting? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <gasps> he entered Wait. the door on his left. Hey, did we... What sound? Is it raining? You hear that? Wait, is it raining? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hi. Zyox, thank you so much for the five months. Gage! 
standing now in this incredible room. You're on my room, shit list. Stanley Thank you so much for the, the bit. Time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back I... and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there, just a kind of um, tingle. So. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, you guys. I hope yes, you enjoy throwing things at me. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really some painting. worth it. Some painting. I remember these paintings. These are at the end of the game, right? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible uh, that this is why everyone left. Oh my god, the narrator is being so mean to me! He's married, he's being so mean! Thank you for being a good sport with the Deku emote, so mega lol. Of course, anymore, Kudo. He decided that the game was my patience to is bordering saint levels. So, uh, how long can I stay in this room before the narrator starts crying? Is that a possible thing? I can just keep, like, hanging out here, right? Like, eventually he'll just, like, be like, bro, please. Something about this room! It's making me feel so hot and funny! Um, okay, well, maybe he's... Actually, I, maybe I exhausted the dialogue. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. He took the first open so door on his left to get back to business. Um... What? Wait. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. How... how do we get back to that ending? Was... what happened? I'm confused. Drop down the railing... On the left bow. Railing on the left bow. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Do you see that? There's... there's a... there's a line! Do you see? Do you see? The ra The line! The line! Line TM! How, how do I get there? How do I get there? Let me see. Will it... Where... I can just... But in his eagerness oh. to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very I got powerful. the bozo ending again! <laughs> A soft wind Zinus, blew outside happy 16 and months! Hope you've been well. I've been great. Thank you so much, Zinus. That he would one day see really, thank you so much for the bits. Stanley was the bottom. Hello, Princess Whale. That's why he was so good at following directions. Play this when you think Bao is going to start her villain arc. <laughs> it's uh It's getting closer all right, Beijing boy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? There was not a I secretly turned it back to 500 bits. Stanley decided to go up to his I fucked up apparently. I'd be cool on him, bitch. I no literally pressure. turned it back to 500 bits and, and didn't tell anyone, you know, and you guys still sex. figured it out! Huge L. Like Why, though? I trusted you! I trusted you guys! What a point to enter the stream. I fob! Never trust you! I just, I don't know! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I just thought I could. I don't get 
did it. Where's Amige? But Stanley just couldn't do it. The car. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Imagine trusting he had left his post chat. True, my cracker, huge elf, bozo moment. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Mm. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, oh, fuck. Stanley felt. All the rooms are repeating. Found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, shit. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley you know marveled that he had still not been Waifu. How was he remaining so lucid? And then the perhaps the strangest question the of them all entered Stanley's One, he was amazed he hadn't Gino asked Pesher himself soon. Why Megan. is there this a voice thing in Italian. my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was Describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice, describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now. There's nothing to say, Chad. His life. Now, I the said all I could. It was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him throw to maybe make a magical star? Maybe the stream is just, just a dream. A ago? How else would the, the voice explain rap. all that? This surely. voice was a part of himself too. Surely, a nightmare. surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Okay, he wake up, bitch. the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Wait, Let this is so sad. Let me go back sad. to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the Wait, way it's stop. always Wait, stop. This been. is so sad. I don't my like this life anymore. Is normal. I am normal. I don't like this anymore. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Wait, stop. This is sad. I don't like it. Make it stop. He's still here. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. You I am real. Please, just I someone just tell me I am real. My I own mind. I must be Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? I, Who am I? And everything went back. Cool. No, why'd you do it at this so moment? This little thing here, a stallion. Look how she walk. Look how she talks. This is the story of a woman. You betrayed me. I I don't even say hello. You ruined it. I like a a she rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. 
But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and you screaming to himself, love me? and then this collapsed dead, dead on the sidewalk. And although she had soon turned to go call the ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange up. man. I'd be cool on him, he was obviously no crazy. Till I met this little this freaker named Megan. Knew. This little thing here is down there. I don't know how to disable it. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was. I am saying, I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled Missing the story. Day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Stanley died and we all missed it. Bros! What do I do? That was Stanley's best ending and we missed it? Are you... Everyone's mad? Oh... Rip. Um... I could just... Oh... <laughs> I did set it to 10k. I just re I just removed it. I don't know how to repeat it. I don't know what I did to to do the thing. It's left and down the stairs. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Do I look up what the ending was? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, uh, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, yes. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, oh, maybe Yay! I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? 
And for that matter, these rooms were starting to True look pretty NPC familiar. behavior, well, Stanley. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. You may thank I'm you for 13 dreaming. months. He yelled. This is all Later, a dream. Yes, so just dropping this, oh, saying good night, chat. Good night, you may. Finally, found an answer, an explanation. His Coil, thank you for bits. Gone. Spencer, thank he you for tier one. His job, he wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose. Perfectly timed ad. Ooh, okay, I wait. I wait for you guys. Oh wait, oh wait. Let me know when ad's done. We back? Okay, okay. Suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Wake up, so, Stanley. It's all just a dream. Your wife and kids are waiting at home. Float above the ground. You gotta get then your 401k he and everything. Soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley Whee! marveled that he had still not woken up. How was Whee! he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Mm -hmm. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the so voice true. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. About a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Uh-oh. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in this his life. This is so horrifying. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to okay, wake up. Okay, good night, chat. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. When I wake up, I, I won't be a be VTuber. Over. When I wake up, I Let won't be a VTuber. When I wake up, Let I won't be a VTuber. The when I wake up, I won't Please. be a VTuber. It's all I want. It's all I want. I want my apartment. I want my apartment. My I want my, my wife. Job. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. True. My life is normal. I am normal. How? Everything will be fine. I am okay. I am gay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake people me up. Scream, My name is Stanley. People scream, I have a people boss. Panic. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh, God. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh, shit. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. What the heck? He died? She soon turned to go call for an ambulance. For just you can just a few die like brief that? moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. You can just die? Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought Gimme. to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was what? comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. 
the very important people whose impressions of her Why is the music her so and by extension strangely her life. She had nice. no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Rip Bozo Marianne dies dies of cringe. <laughs> Thank All you, of Shane. His were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps so, he had simply missed a memo. Why? So that was him realizing, like, that he has no free will and that this is all, like, a nightmare scenario for him. I mean, how, how much worse can it get? Like, now that we've unlocked that ending, I mean, what is there left to do, right? We've already established that this is... This is the... This is the nightmare scenario. So... Either we can find some sort of solace in all of this, or we can try... Oh, new content. Hey. Oh, new content? We can try what to break mean? free, new but content. it seems futile. And I feel like that's not the point of the game, to break free of it. I feel like we're, we're just gonna like live inside code or something. Does that make sense? I feel like we just we're just gonna end up in the fucking Hello, HTML. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ooh, it's like we're in Disney As World. You may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. That's me. After I have a home computer. And commercial success. It was expanded upon in 2022. <gasps> That's us. Stanley Parable That's what we're playing Ultra right Deluxe, now. A reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that Ooh. broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Audience, are you Please delighted? Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So they got the same narrator for the Ultra Deluxe? Oh, that's so cool. Yay. Hey, so far, it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure I it's love just it. the beginning I miss of a him. mesmerizing adventure. I'm so excited. When does it start? Um, is it broken? I think What's it's broken. Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, oh, there we go, we there go. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on content! to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Mm. Hog tent. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra uh -oh. Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if... Um, mm. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Yeah, give yes. me the content, Stanley. All right, give it to me, Stanley. Parable, my Stanley. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Holy fuck. I'm gonna fucking bust a nut. Now this. This isn't like... Any game I've ever played. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Yeah, that was good. Is, that was good. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else. Okay, right? let's go. Part two. Another Part two. Elevator. Stanley, I have to say. Initial impressions of this game are not possible. Dude, this narrator is being a little a little uptight. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. 
Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it I'm clicking, is. I'm touching, I'm clicking, I'm touching, I'm touching, and I'm clicking. Ooh. Land. Thanks for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy so video true. game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. So true. All right, chat, name that game. In fact, name I'm looking that right game now right at the game's now. achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <sighs> you guys were a little too fast. Signed off on this. <laughs> I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter keep going, and hold keep them going. personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation Overwatch around the new Overwatch 2 content, takes I'm place afraid. 6 hours they could after never Overwatch. Have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Aw, like always, say, he remembers. Of course, narrator, take me back. Take me back to the good old days. I hate Mondays. Now I really want to get a mug like that. A I hate Mondays mug. Chat, do you think... Do you think... No? Stanley! Oh shit. Come over here. Who's fucking in the who's vent. talking? I want to show you something. The vent? Among us? Oh, narrator's a little sussy. Susses among us. Stanley among us? Coffee nut. Excuse me. Wee! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah, well, it yeah. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Mm -mm -mm. So I made something special and tucked it away here where Holy the game's fuck, developers Elden Ring. won't find it. Just our little secret. Go? Take a look. <gasps> oh shit. Guys, we're in fucking Elden Ring! I call it the Memory Zone. What? It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so Ooh. I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Wow. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Woohoo! <gasps> Guys, we're gonna go fucking light the bonfire! You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in Guys, October look at the, of 2013 it's the screenshot when the of game the originally scheme. launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Oh, the waste. Wow. Ooh, trip down memory lane. Aw, cute. Is that... Eh, it's just a dollar. Smile because it happened. Nice, we have to smile because it happened. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Um. Surely you guys will listen to that, right? Wow. Are these real awards? Wow. Wow. Ooh. Oh, look, that's when we dodged. Hee <laughs> Just silly, funny things. Only me and Narrator Coon would understand. Whoa! And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? 
every Jill's. game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the out original of Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. Aww. It's just a husk, Maho. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Not even Stanley. Aww. Well, now I'm sad. No, what? Let's go down here. Memory zone maintenance. Can't go there yet. Yum, 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 yum. There's doors. Red or blue door. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding yeah, like choices fucking I've ever dying. been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. The serious room. 2013? How do I go out in the serious room? How do I get in the serious room, hmm? Oh yeah, jump! Oh, I don't have any more jumps. You wasted your jumps. Hello. Well, now what? El Bozo? Oh man. Really? You're also not in the jump circle. Well, I, I don't know where the jump circle is. I don't see it. <sighs> Aww. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? What's oh, this? No. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from <laughs> Steam, the <laughs> online video game distributor. Oh, no! I haven't looked at these in years. Guys, we got... I can't even imagine what's We gotta bury the shit. We can't look... Here. No! Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, narrator coon. We're, we're in for a... Oh, shit! Honestly, I could I wonder not if, is this a real? this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Unfunny! I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh, shit. We're gonna dissect this game to death, and then it won't be fun anymore. Such is the... Such is the nature of game reviews, huh? Uh oh Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good... Unfunny! Mm -hmm, for someone who prefers non-linear <laughs> games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? Um... You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, um... Goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. No one say anything. Uh, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. It's, you it's can't a know little. How much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Aww. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Unimpeachable. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. You're not a failure. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I These guys just have sticks up their remember. asses. No, he's people sad. Well, 
what's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Aww. A skip button? No! Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. No. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely uh, Wait, this is so sad! Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's So true, so true, Bestie. I you must purge all of them. The You're simply yes, wrong. a skip button we shall have. But then the game won't be the same. <gasps> and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time. So Birds that the heretics! And droning starts to bore you. With just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for. And I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. Ciao, no, no, bow. No, no. Thank you so much for Prime. It's a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going Ryan to Ryan Rod, thank well, you so much for half year. Leader Shadow Lord, thank you so much for nine up. months. Here, we'll Spencer, thank you so much for tier one. An interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. Kong, thank you so the much for bits. And the choices. Ubu Kitty, thank you so much for bits. And therefore, by becoming it is. Shane, thank you so, so much for so bits. Forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, mm. until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly. What's he talking about? thousand years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. What's How many he talking billions to? Left until <laughs> so much more than forever ago. Which is why I say, the story and the choices, or what have you, uh... and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all, until the... Oh, Hi. you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature ruminations. of choice in Flourishes. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it... So 10k bits, someone gets to throw 100 objects at you. That is correct. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't I you? I did, but I that's did! The power of the the minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will yeah, say about this. Yeah, fuck you, Cookie and Nine, my edit fucking the ass. Of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess Sorry, I was that a bit much? I'm, I'm just a little exactly attached to narrator. Works. I didn't like hearing Perhaps him have his have feelings hurt. Perhaps thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology, Cookie Nine work, and Shambles, whoever it is, run Steam. <laughs> yeah, fuck whoever runs run Steam. Who's this guy? Uh, I want to talk to the manager to of Steam. Merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think yeah, that's, that's right. We likely. we should go fucking Karen on Steam right now. User the ability to change their review. So we have, yeah, yeah, we got a twit longer use. cookie nine. Look, Who the fuck is this guy? Okay hey, show yourself. I bet, I bet you won't, I bet you won't, uh, so that repeat that same review if, uh, Something if, uh, I see you face to face, huh? The best little pussy boy, game. pussy boy cookie hmm. nine? You Let a pussy boy cookie about. nine? Huh? How about this? From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the... Okay. okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, Hi. I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well... I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means. God but it's, damn, well, that is a really lot. So much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I minutes. do suggest that we not press the button again. Uh -oh. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just wait. 
How do we get out of here? Wait, how do we Where get out of here? Where did the door go? Where did the door Isn't go? There a door that led into this room? Oh shit. I do feel quite certain that there was, there was one definitely here a door. Before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first oh, place? Fuck. I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A no. A sufficiently oh. large crack in the wall. I don't I'll see any, any sufficiently these. large cracks in the wall. And to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. I swear Where to fuck you. Are we fucked? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? <laughs> he Is wants there me any to possibility ram. possibility that you could say, okay. slam right, your trying. body into One, the wall until enough two. damage is done ah. for you to be able to leave? One, please, two. I'll take ah. any option at all. One, I'm asking two, you to go ah. here. I, we need a door. We need a door of something. We kind. need a door. We need a door. We need a door. door. Hello, I need a door. I just need a door. Can someone please to program a door? I, chat, I'm going to step chat, I command you. I command you with my streamer powers to, to code exactly a door right now. Command door! I don't know how exactly door right door door. Door. find a way out. <laughs> you command just need door. to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Okay, okay, please, I won't please, press. Please I won't, I won't press it, I swear. Press the skip button. I, I swear, I'm not. Wait here for me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Don't press the skip button. I won't skip it, I won't skip Quiet. it. Guys, keep yes. keep doing it, keep doing I'll it. I think right back. I, it just takes a little time. Is it working? He left us? Narrator? Narrator? He pressed the skip button on us! <laughs> Door equals true semicolon. <laughs> Not you guys actually coding in the chat. <laughs> um. Door equals new door parentheses true semicolon. <laughs> What? What? What does this say? Class door, uh, brackets public, um, hi, 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 uh, uh, colon void open parentheses void bracket m underscore is open equals true semicolon brackets brackets semicolon uh do door if true door if true false door semicolon equals true. One zero zero one zero zero. If door, if command door parentheses place door parentheses colon easy. Door equals equals null equals equals open. Hashtag include door. <laughs> Spawn door brackets. If parentheses no underscore door, uh comma door parentheses uh else uh <laughs> brackets panic. Door appear in game. Bracket. Update building set is open equals one where construction name equals door. Um, <laughs> door underscore state equals door underscore state plus one percentage two. If brackets player equals equals uh, hyphen bow quotations uh, bracket delete door semicolon. If, if, if sudo apt get install, if door, <laughs> these are so fucking funny. <laughs> door equals door dot create. How did you make a URL? How did you get to, is this a comp site class? Gib bow door. If, if command door equals panic, um, Bracket main slash slash door underscore exit underscore three equals one bracket. Uh, var door equals zero comma zero comma zero. If uh, bracket door uh, command bracket close panic bracket close semicolon. Um, door dot png is not found. Commit okay. Uh, how, uh, how about how about quotations command uh, colon command door and sec 91 sec slash slash and deport slash slash door 3.41 m slash slash give bow acacia door one system out printing door <laughs> boof pack door <laughs> room append child bracket new door close bracket 
This is so fucking funny. If bit... <laughs> If bits equals 500, create Deku underscore thirst underscore rap brackets one hour version close bracket semicolon. <laughs> that one won. That one fucking won. <laughs> Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. I'm sorry. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting why longer. Why are they My getting God, longer? There's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door, Stanley. There's, there's no, no door, door. There's Stanley. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, oh my goodness. shit. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think really? that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. You guys I needed are listening, there to be a right? Vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every oh. brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe <gasps> it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps. Why yes. am I crying? Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. That if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so <gasps> tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness holds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Oh. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I, I am feel someone. so bad. I am Me something. too. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. You the are. emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now Ooh. like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I'm real to me. Space in You're this real world to again. all of us that are witnessing this. The wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. Yeah. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my this heart. This is like to torture. Think of, to think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. There's nothing we can do except press the button. Prove he is real. Press the button. For him. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Do we need I've a couple so therapy? Much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. A have year? You ever sat down in one place and not move for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To what begin the with, fuck? there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have Is this ever what happens whenever I miss life. lore? All of them collapsed down into a single instant. 
In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, yes. with a collected heart. It was an impossibly <laughs> oh, no. rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed. By I just don't like I could tutorials. Do in it for what felt I think like it's, an eternity. it's for what spoiling I the game. Was far less. You I see, think it tutorials was a are, are, for me. Is, are it was only exist to spoil the game for me. I want to figure it, it out by myself. Without consequence, without action or outcome, it was divorced entirely from the question of free will <laughs> that you and I have squabbled over for so long. <laughs> There could be no one so ending, true, bestie. no singular outcome of events. <laughs> not if all events existed in Tutorials the same Tutorials are moment. overrated. I, I want to figure out what the I buttons do by myself. By need to I want to blindly outcome play the game. I saw that I could allow myself to exist What tutorials have you been playing? And that not many, obviously. <laughs> in the web of my being. Does Bao cook credit, blind too? The spirit, <laughs> the A little. Of the moment. Both singular and infinite. I have no time, vision when I cook. And then I simply manifest and the most something good. Fear I have ever known crept Wait, do you my skip mind. tutorials? And it is this sensation yeah. that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have ever expected was possible. Uh, I have been waiting for you. Bow Not existence that you might denier. Or do something is that to fix it, is that my name now? To state Aaron Hansen. The plain fact of this manner of existence. From Gra Game I Grumps? To feel afraid as I, do. I once knew that someone called Tutorials. Day, this state of mind will consume you as well. Uh huh? Perhaps you will Why'd you somehow, say LOL? in some way, have to live as I do now. Huh? And I wish for you to you know skip endings? No, I don't skip endings. And for you to be in true terror Aaron, of its And the serial arrival. explanation if skipper. I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me Aaron the Hansen smallest type moment beat. For real, of for real. in the darkness. Maps are spoiling your surroundings. True! So true, bestie. Did you skip cutscenes? No, I don't skip cutscenes. I just skip tutorials. The only time I skipped a cutscene was when I was playing Lost Ark. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, a button. My man's gonna be dead. <gasps> He's gone. Hello? 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 How many years has it been? Chad, I'm scared. Wait, wait, look, there's a... There's a security camera up there. Right? Who's been watching us? If not the narrator. This is a fire alarm? Why are we stuck in here? I don't understand the point. Let's just stop hurting the narrator. He didn't do anything. What if I hit the button backwards from here and then that turns it into... That will then turn it into a reverse... Hello? What's happening? Something's beeping. I don't... I don't understand. I don't have any batteries. Change the batteries. I... I don't see any... Do I need to... Maybe I can grab the ladder? There's... There's a ladder. Should... Should... Is there... Uh... Let's skip it. Batteries are in the corner. Batteries are in the corner. Hold on, hold on. Really? Are batteries really in the corner? What if, what if the room is filling up with gas and we all die? 
No, you guys are lying. The fuck you guys. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where <gasps> are the back! jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review <clears> and they <throat> all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the he's inconsistency. Back. It's the lack of accountability. He's still it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart it's the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley Parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. This is if true. someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is so now the true. world Speak we live in. Truth, it seems that Stanley. we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that mm -hmm. our entertainment is now our lives. Yep. It has come to represent us. I agree. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. And so we, we project. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this... We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn mm. our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad it's about not any mad, of this. I'm at peace but... with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these <laughs> I am literally calm. Themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and I have never discourse. been so calm. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't yeah, stand the idea yeah. of me using my game to try to say something. <laughs> Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes. They've been you dropped me this, this king. Time. They are mired in fear and insecurity. They were projecting they onto you, narrator. What a sad state of affairs. They're when that pitiful that they now, went out of their way to talk shit about you on Steam. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words? Huffing a lot of copium. <laughs> contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized. Yeah, At last, I everyone who left a bad review of this game needs to be neutered be and sterilized. So content with themselves, they couldn't help but leave a negative review on they Steam. They couldn't help it. Perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me. <laughs> Perhaps the state of their psychological Steam reviews gaslit the narrator. And my constitution and willpower are the so in comparison. Perhaps this, it was this, this state that they sought some was outlet not through which to tear in me the constitution. down. This, you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny, that it be filled with yucks and whimsical yucks. humor, that it amuse them endlessly from start to finish. But they didn't understand the game oh. was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was. I think he died again. Uh. Is that water? It was like a drop of water. Oh, um, what's the, what's the verdict? 
Look at it again. Come here often, Bao. Yeah, it's when I'm feeling a little... A little lonely. Well... What choice do we have? Yeah, you're right. The end is never the end is never the end is oh. never the end is 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 never the end End is never the end, 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 is never the end. Uh, is I don't like it, end, I don't like it, I don't, don't like end, it. Is never the end, is never the end, is never That sound. He's gone again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So much water. I hear birds outside my window and it's freaking me out. Jesus fucking Christ. Are we in the... F this is apocalyptic. This is just straight up apocalyptic. How do I get out of here? Was there nothing? Is it just nothing? Is there truly just nothing outside of this? It's cold. Did the world just end? Did I miss an apocalypse? The water pipe collapsed? Oh. Well, it's sunny again. That sound again. Well, there is an outside. Whoa. What is this? Yo, it's, um, environmental, uh, what's it called? Like, it's like when it takes over. This... Um, destructionism? No, not reclamation. Like... No, no... Not naturism, not replantination. <laughs> It's an aesthetic. I look it up. It's an aesthetic. Um, there's a word for it. Uh uh. No, no. It's like. Oh, this is so... This is a little... Brutalism! Yes! Yeah, brutalism. It's brutalism. 
It's real. It's the. That's the aesthetic. That's what it's called. Uh huh? Yeah, you can have. You can have e ecological brutalism. Eco-brutalism is an architectural design that plays on a sense of juxtaposition between divergent concept concepts, grim human design, and the vibrant resilience of plants. Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that aesthetic. It's a it's it's everywhere in near automata. It's so pretty. I really like this. And I like this music. Look, berries. This dirt. I I really like this. It's very tran tranquil. Are we ready to skip again though? Eco-brutalism is in a controlled setting. This is natural reclamation. Mmm. Oh, everything's dead again. What happened? Are we fucking floating in space? Are we just a floating rock in space now? The sun went out. There is no more light. Are we in living at in fallout times? What's that sound? It's the sound of us hurtling into space. Faster than the speed of light. Heat death already happened, probably. We're just in a black hole. Um, okay, now I know what you're talking about. That sound. I thought it was just like ambient noise. No. I think I think the fucking the fucking monster from Stranger Things is outside. We didn't listen to the Lorax, so now so now we're surrounded by SCPs. The the Demogorgon. <laughs> Um... Welcome to New York City! <laughs> Damn, this, the subways are getting a little, a little crazy. Did we just, like, go back in time? Are there, like, dinosaurs out now or something? Um... Whoa. The literal ground has shifted, and now... What? The fuck? Portland?! You guys are so stupid! Maybe... Maybe I can just follow the sun. Ooh. Time to play Journey! <laughs> it's really pretty. This definitely has Journey vibes. How long's it been? Dune? Yeah? Yeah? Dune your mom? Detroit become Australia! Huh? Wait, the end is never the end is never the end. Hello? What the fuck? Guys, we're in the fucking game again! She saw the future, and yet... 
narrator? All of his co-workers were gone. The narrator's back! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Time is a flat circle? You think that's why we think ghosts exist? Do you think that it's because, like, time accidentally, like, blips into each other and then we see remnants of the past? And then we think that they're ghosts or something, but it's just time replaying? Ooh! New, new content! Look, there's a neon sign and it's in cursive. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. <laughs> I have something very exciting to show you. We. Uh, how exciting! How exciting! You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Really? What would even happen in the two? Really? Sequel? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior the to a measly re-release with a few minor uh, additions? Again. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely Ooh. new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Welcome. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Oh. oh wow. This looks Parable like uh where I so pitch a Netflix adaptation. Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe. What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's wow. future-oriented. It Look screams a map. progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. <laughs> They're back two doors. <laughs> More TSP, better TSP, win, win, sequential mind share, the color red, leverage, holistic value, paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach. This is word salad. Ooh, guys, look, it's a Google slide. And look, there's Comic Sans. Thanks for attending my meeting. <laughs> Buzzwords. The Stanley Parabola, a Netflix now, original. <laughs> I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but what? let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of it's interesting red marker, concepts, me. that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. I don't know. I have no idea what he just said. Does anyone know? <gasps> look, look, look! It's the Netflix font! It's the Netflix font! Look, there's even a tour bus? Oh, wow. Th them. They went all in. They used up all the budget they had. Whoa! Okay, this is... This is yeah, nice! Go on, try out some of the new features. Reassurance bucket. What's that? Ooh, merch! Sheesh! Yo. Can we cop this? Is this... But is this copable? Yo, it's the QR code. Quick, quick! I, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta know, bro. Is it really? Oh, shit! Yeah! Direct YouTube link. What is this? What? There's actually a link to the video! <gasps> what the fuck? Wait, 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 we gotta watch it, we gotta watch it. Okay, 
okay, okay. I, I, I'm getting it. We gotta watch it. We gotta watch it. <laughs> watch it, watch it. We gotta watch it. Okay, okay, okay. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous to me, and they can lead to early aging. Early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. Goddamn. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. That's and if you so look around true. you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes oh. against gravity. Gravity! Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be Jessica. taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at the once. The sequel? Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. Yeah, fuck you, Becky. In fact, You're a loser. There is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. What? It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists. What but is it's it? the prequel from which all sequels are derived. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember uh... those long, lazy afternoons you spent <laughs> oh, playing yeah, the Stanley of course. Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. That is, we that I totally recollect that. Another. And you were fortunate enough to get to waste your Bow, the, the sequel Stanley to Bow. <laughs> but the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man. I'm a man. Which is like the sequel to a child. Which is a sequel and to a, a man, child. You want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. I love taxes and you cheating need a at man's baseball. Video game, Timmy. Who's Timmy? And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. <gasps> it's as manly as video games How can get. How long is this? And if you don't believe me, Let's look at it's the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack. And he's button. the cutting <laughs> picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy. Ideas and he has the guy. most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning Charles, those concepts thank you very much into reality. For the prime. For example, he's Zero, the one who picked up the, the phone and declared, Metro, thank you so much for the sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good Another work, strike, Gregory. thank you so much Go for the nine months. Go ahead and the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, Work on the game can now begin. See, Corey, the thank you so much for the 14 months. Answer a simple question. I'm Corey, thank what you so much for the six months. In the first place, well, it's simple. Yeah, again, thank you so much for the bits. opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. Rindel, thank we've you so much for the bits. Mistakes, and we've all Mom, caused thank you so much for the bits. Someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. When developing this particular sequel, it's okay. important to start by thinking: What mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Whoa. Well, first off. Most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated. What? And it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. Oh. Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic Ooh. for this man named Leroy, Ooh. whose personal information, including home address, social security number, oh, and shit. bank information, Who doxed were all Leroy? prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's money Fucking and identity L for were my stolen, man Leroy. the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game, what? and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. 
As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology <laughs> to Leroy. Insincere to apology! Game, where it will be difficult to find. Finally, the Elf Stanley Parable Leroy. made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time war. The time war! Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story this was is all likely in to the make first very little game? sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the space <laughs> We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, time Dracula. it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art. I agree. One which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers child bred soldiers. in laboratories. <laughs> they begin by studying the original Stanley Who Parable. Who wrote this? Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. We begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor. Really? All conventional industry wisdom. It wasn't it was funny a bold enough, guys. Statement that its developers have to firmly artificially behind. inject but humor in into the sequel. It's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. During its <laughs> development, face. over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2, creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant oh my God. chemical Guys, byproduct. It's eco-friendly, directly into local and it's lakes, creating jobs. And beautiful nature reserves what? Like wait, wait, wait! It just said it was eco-friendly. Another common complaint my of the water. Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this Thank problem. You for hype train. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Elf for bow. Every video Fuck game yourself. contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay. And several of the Bro? largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. On mobile what? devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed. What the fuck is a gameplay sheet? Each of which must be massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. The hands of a child. This man is stealing gameplay sheets <gasps> from the factory, Why which he, he likely doing intends that? to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. They're gonna stone him! Let's check on Gregory real quick. Hi, Gregory, still recovering I'm... from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. <laughs> Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. The press! In the competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist true, true, can be one all of the true. most effective methods of creating word of mouth buzz for your sequel. Oh. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. Oh. From your I had it all wrong. To the teacher at your school, to the man who helps you steal HBO. Oh, I know that guy. We all, we all know that guy. And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow and the and family. pamphlet that your teacher hands Guys, out. Guys, don't forget that pamphlet. We're gonna need that. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting. And that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. <gasps> if you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A no single egg, egg will produce over a thousand cows, a which thousand are, of course, cows. the sequel to pigs. Cows are the sequel to pigs! Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? Oh. It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is, mm -hmm. who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubble gum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and consume. Yeah, get out Do there, your Billy. Civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley <laughs> Parable 2 every on version? every platform. <laughs> Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. Okay, it's okay. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula. We will once defeat and Time Dracula. All. Don't let the time traveling vampires win. We can't win. let them win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels. If you love your country, today, you will buy tomorrow, the Stanley Parable 2. The great unknowable beyond. The end.
This is unlisted. In memoriam. Billy. Why did Billy only live for three years? <laughs> Why did Billy die? <laughs> it's unlisted because it's unhinged. A public service announcement from the Stanley Ter Parable Ultra Deluxe. Breathing was a great sequel, but Stanley Parable 2 will be an even better sequel. Well said. Now this is the new, new, new content I have been waiting for. As a self-proclaimed gem, the Stanley Parable 2 is truly the best game ever conceived. <laughs> this is so silly, I love it. Wow. Look at that. There's the website. Someone asked me why I have premium. Well, I looked in like, apparently like as a YouTube partner, sometimes you get like cool, um, like coupons for stuff. And they gave me like a month of uh, premium for free. So I yoinked it. Cause I'm very good at saving money. Yeah, I like, so I like sleeping to YouTube video, so it, it helps. Button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Exclusive. That's new. Name. Hear your name in the game. <laughs> That's so funny. Stanley Parable 2. I'm not gonna lie, the layout of this room is actually fucking sick. Like, it's so... It's like... Peak innovation like you know this started up in silicon valley and was pitched to a board of really boring businessmen who then stood up and clapped at the end of your presentation who is that <laughs> please no screenshots guys guys no screenshots okay i'll be honest i haven't yet decided on this one Plant. I think that in the new version, the office could Guys, use a no, bit of don't decoration, my NFT, like balloons. Please, no. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? I like Get Well Someday because it's like kind of vague and, um, you know, it's, it's a little less sincere and it's funnier. What is this? Happy 12th Birthday, step niece. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Man, what Happy the fuck? 12th birthday, step niece, it is. What the fuck? All right, well, clearly I'm right and he's wrong and... I just... What am I even here for? Why do you even ask me? Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. Nope, I've made my decision. We're moving <laughs> on. This dude. Congrats on your 12th birthday. Wow. Step niece. What is a step niece? How do you even... What? What in the family line? Okay, whatever. I don't know. The button that says the name of the player playing the game. That's pretty crazy, I think. What's this? Ooh. Ominous. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Collectibles. Ooh, infinite hole. Free, new and easy achievement. It just works. I can't believe it's that simple. Get it here. It just works. Settings, world champion. World champion of settings? What? Infinite hole, free achievement. Wow, this is a huge fucking... <gasps> oh man. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle can, back for Stanley Parable 2 you, as well. Can, can you... Oh wait, you already spent all your jumps yeah, the first time we saw jumps. the jump circle. Hmm, oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative no! piece then. No! No! I don't get any more jumps! I didn't know! I was just listening to the game! <laughs> Man, what the fuck? This 
This is stupid. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. Gamers, and I promise it we will hear happen. you. What the fuck? I couldn't even get the achievement. Is there... That's it? <laughs> I don't know. Her. I think this is it. Don't worry. He'll develop it later. Okay. If you say so. Jump into the infinite hole. Okay. Uh, this what way. else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Collect them all. Is this it? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. I got one. Wow. <laughs> I got one. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. So true. I uh, hate that. Oh, infinite hole, infinite hole. But he just said that I won't get anything. Uh oh. Hold on, chat. Give it a hot minute. We've got some spooky boys in the chat. Let's see how safe it is. Yoisha. Are they gone? Think we're good? Alright. Thank you, mods. More hole. More hole. Hole, depth, space, question mark, science, more falling okay what the fuck wait this looks like this looks like a diagram for the integumentary system chat chat who who here who here takes biology who here takes anatomy does this not look this looks like the integumentary system look there's the corpuscle the tactile corpuscle. There's the adipose tissue. It literally looks like... Bro, the corpussy? I hate you guys. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Finally, Infinite goodbye. Falling. You can fall until the end of time, if Yay! you like. A stunning big fall. You I see, love this one. Wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, Whee! if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see whoa the infinite whoa hole, whoa whoa you can whoa press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, I'm and we can continue onward. Oh. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Um, I'm a fan. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely a fan. Wait, let's walk around here. Is there anything else? 
Infinite hole glitch. What? There was more? Keep falling? Oh, okay, if you say so. Don't leave the hole. The hole was meant for... was, uh... meant for you? Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. <laughs> Did you really need to see it again? I don't yeah, know what I else there so. is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. Mm -hmm. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent yeah, quite but... a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you, I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know, I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. Okay. <sighs> All right. Look, uh, things got a little heated these cigarette there. cigarette buds? I think we both said some things we didn't mean. New mug. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree Reading to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Well, I've been falling for 30 minutes. <laughs> Mostly infinite hole. <laughs> we go back in the hole? Why? Again? Oh, for heaven. You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. Not a normal. normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. Mm. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make just an infinite hole, but we I didn't think it was it that we not infinite. Try, well, I suppose once again us. there's nothing to do here. Just if you decide you've us. had enough of the hole, just you can hit the teleport us. button and Building come join me up in the above. sky, just the two of us, you and I. Every pause button is Roman numeral two. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. Chat. And I've had enough of the hole for a Chat. lifetime. Chat. <laughs> Chat. What are we thinking, Chat? <laughs> you feeling frisky? <laughs> yeah! Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> if this starts to become a thing where... Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely getting shorter. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? What's going on? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. The hole's yeah. length. Let's try something. <laughs> Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Um... Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole it's at a this point. It's a kiddie pool! It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Aggressive divot! How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, <laughs> who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is the, um, teleport uh -oh. button not working? Uh-oh. You sure? Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, I really don't have uh, an explanation. It was uh, working just a moment uh, ago. Uh, Try it uh, again. Uh, uh, Still nothing. Uh, uh, well, I, suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever no! have asked for. It's a Please, win for everyone. No, you get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. No, I can change! Take care, Stanley. Uh -huh! I hope you and the hole...
have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Alright. Uh, did you really leave us? Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's going on? It's the scary music again. decided to laugh back at us. Change your perception. Oh wait, this sounded bad. Yeah, okay. It's just a, just a long elevator ride, you know? It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. Huh? So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. 
and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Um. Do we have to do this again? Oh. Um. It's revenge for the fast forward button. <laughs> Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Kinda true, though. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Too small. So with that in mind, Just my right. first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to what? really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll what? love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take my, a deep breath, my name's clear your not mind, Jim. forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living PRP as, Jim, as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, um, okay. falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing um, all of the world's possibilities what would as a Jim, gym sound and as Jim, like? watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Hey there, Are you girl. really truly My name's Jim, Jim right now? If so, it's then nice please to meet step you. forward and press the button. Well, I've never streamed on Twitch before, but... I sure hope y'all give me a mighty fine time since uh, we're gonna be stuck here for a while. <laughs> yes, you see. Oh, what yeah. a thrill, what a what rush. A rush. That was you. I really the felt that one in my you. gullet. Do it again, do it again. All right, uh, uh, here goes nothing. Oh, it hits even harder the yeah, second it time. It sure does. If this were the Gives only you new a feature little in the tingle. Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Wow. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of oh, this personal yeah, I, validation. Oh, yeah, I don't want to, you know, push you if you're so drained. Okay, but what if we... Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, <laughs> Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, no. soon you'll start to lose Jim, all sense Jim, of who you Jim, actually Jim, are. Jim, 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 Jim. Aw, oh, man. I can't be a cowboy anymore. I'm back to being Bao. I'm sorry, chat. The button was confiscated. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. New updated ray traced. More of the same, but in a good way. <laughs> traced red is the new orange a whole new office rtx on the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game jump circle mostly infinite hole okay okay we already did that no screenshots uh already did the button bucket time Okay, I, I guess, is this last? Is this the best for last? A common complaint Ooh, of the Stanley God Parable damn. was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Uh -huh. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, yeah. I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. That was a problem? It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, like an emotional anytime support you're holding bucket. the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. Oh, so, so I can just get rid of all my bucket, cats and replace them with the bucket. The many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel uh -huh. perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. 
I'm getting it. You may it. even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, Guys, it's a much we more don't need women. Solution for we don't need a partner. Actually we need the, the game Stanley Parables to Hugh Reassurance Bucket. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <sighs> Oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh. 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 Can you feel it? Oh, I'm feeling the glow Mr. Krabs. of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just I'm holding it, it has made you the slightest bit more it's attractive rushing as a over person. Me. Is my ass? The benefits of the bucket. Is my ass inflating right now? All this and more awaits you. Guys, in the my Stanley my Parable hips are too. are widening as I speak. Am I sexier than ever? Oh. <laughs> Now what? I mean, now I'm, I'm sexy as fuck, but like now, now what? What's this? What's this say? Uh, reach out, deep dive, ping. We do not call. We do not call. We do not need to reach out. No one can call. You're simply reaching out. It's like a friend, like a lover. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny. Wait, I have to read this. Board members must note, please note that you must use the following terms as often as possible. Synergy. No one but us actually knows what this means. It adds to our prestige. Incentivize. This refers to the metaphorical whip which provides the incentive. <laughs> Unpack. Refers to lo looking for meaning in a big pile of rubbish. Ping. Send a message. Childlike onomatopoeia, which probably makes us sound cute. Deep dive. Discuss in depth. Makes a tedious meeting sound like more of an undersea adventure. Good for motivation. Reach out. We do not call. We do not email. We reach out. No one can complain if we are simply reaching out like a lover. I... Guys, we have to start using words like that too. You realize that, right? Does anyone give out awards for we have to most be in the enjoyable spirit bucket in a video game? Of the sequel. That really should be an award if it isn't already. So, uh... So now what? We reach out through chat. Yes, do you feel that? That synergy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we're gonna have to continue our deep dive into this game. See? It makes you feel like we're playing Subnautica. But guess what? We're playing Stanley Parable 2. You did not hear that moment of hesitation between, I, b between the moment where I was recalling the name of the game. Can you find them? Can you find them? Hello? I'm scared. I, I don't think it lets you anymore. Wow, this isn't Subnautica? I was fooled. Thank you for reaching out. <laughs> oh, is this the exit? We spent a really long time in here. <laughs> All right. Thank Have you, you so much for the host. You wanted to? Ready Leo, to thank you so much now? for the eight months. Incentive? Monka S? Yes, incentive. Your uh, uh, chat's incentive for today is to, uh, if you guys, uh, um, if, if, uh, if no one calls me a pillow princess, then, um, I will, um, give you guys, um, free popcorn. Okay, well, slugs, thanks to you, chat is not getting... Free popcorn. So, so, so no deal now. The incentive is now off the table. And now we will continue to deep dive in the path of zero popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn it, slugs. We lost our synergy. <laughs> Leo Daddio, thank you so much for the eight months. Jin, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Stalwart Garnet, thank you so much for the five dono. I don't know why, but every time I see your name, it makes me want to howl it out like a whale. Mm -ba thank you. That's uh, I'll, I'll say that from now on. Gemini Frank, thank you so much for the four months. Happy four months. Holy four months. Princess, Prince, Prince Blas, thank you very much for the seven months. Brandono, thank you so much for the tier one. Eel Makako, thank you so much for the nine months. Makako, Makako. Mike AIG, thank you so much for the seven months. Spaceman Pika, thank you so much for the half year. Leroy, Charles C. Adderley, Charles Adderley, thank you so much for the Prime Zero Fantasy. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Nether Strike, thank you so much for the nine months. And Etro the Great, thank you so much for the 15 months. Kiwi Man, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you. Crag Alanch, thank you very much for the Prime. Shivan Dragon, thank you very much for the 11 months. Thank you. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Luna, Say, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy birthday, Twitch, Twitch, Happy Birthday, I'll arrange these new Miss features Luna. together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable <gasps> 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, Hey, we got here, our right? jumps it's back! Sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This um, isn't a coherent video game trombone. at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. <laughs> I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. Uh. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, uh -huh. well, Push it insert else. a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. Oh. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Just like Overwatch it work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Okay. Let me see if Slugs, I can put something thank up. you so much for the tier mm -hmm. one. Right, I'll give perfect. you one piece of popcorn. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh? Hey, what? <gasps> hey, this looks kind of sick. Are we ready to do this? Hold on, hold on. I Okay, chat, let's... I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys go to the bathroom. You guys get drinks, whatever. Let's, let's set up for, for part two, okay? Okay, I'll be right back.
hear me? I was mooted a bubble. How always cute. Now you can't always cute. I was mooted. Oopie. At gym, muted. No shot. Is there really a gym in here? Is that why it's bolded? <laughs> Welcome back, Jim. It's good to be back, folks. Another day, another nickel. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I wanted to ask you guys. Um. How does chat feel about me playing Poppy Playtime? I feel like there are some varying opinions of it, but I'm not, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Hmm. It's fine. It's up to you. Uh, yeah. I've seen my friends play it and I'm just scared I'll get like flack for it. I don't know. I'll still I'll still keep thinking on it. Cause like it's so disappointing, right? I do wanna play it. Mm. What if I played the game so fast that I can return it? Hmm. Pretty sure they backtracked anyways. Really? Oh, I actually have no idea. I'll, I'll look more into it, but... I just kind of wanted to know what the general vibes are? Question mark? <laughs> speed run. I kind of spe sped run it last time. Alright, ordered my Taco Bell DoorDash. Let's do this. Yo! What you get from Taco Bell? Are you done with it already? Uh, Stanley Parable? No. We got to... This part of the game. Actually, I'm not sure how long we have left of the game. I mean, if people watch it, you watch you play, there's less reason for them to get it and play it, right? Ooh. Yes. The lesser of two evils, Miss Peachy. I like how you think. Now it looks like a horror game. Now it does look like a horror game. <laughs> sort of halfway? Oh, uh, there's a lot. Um, hmm. Technically, this is the halfway point. Hello, PG. Looks like back rooms, but red walls. There's a lot more. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll keep playing up until we reach a good uh, point, stopping point, and then I can continue this for a different stream. There's 40 endings. Okay, I'm not that much of a completionist. I kind of just want to like, I just play until I feel like I've absorbed enough of the game to be satisfied. Oh, but you've never played the original, right? The original? Um, well, well, didn't Ultra Deluxe include the first part of the game? Like the, f like, for Stanley Parable 1, right? Yeah, yeah, so I did play. I did play, mm-hmm. It's got all the content from the first. Yes, I, I've never played Stanley Parable till today. It is a very smart game, and the fact that there was so much time in between the first game... That's... that's so amazing. This game seems very beyond its time, which... Very impressive. And, and even now, I think, like... The timing of this game and the commentary that it's giving is so perfect for... I guess... Everything that's going on in the game world. I really, really like it. The original Stanley was a mod for Half-Life. Really? Oh. Well, yes and no. You played a little bit of the first game. Ah. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling I didn't get too much done from the first part. Glad you're having fun with it. Oh, yeah, I am having fun with it. This was done... This, this is a very well done game. This was done in Unity. There's a little... Work exporting stuff. Oh. 
is very, very relevant. Very meta game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Can I get a... Can I get a sign? Any gyms reporting for duty? Any gyms clocking in for work? Gym here? Sign. <laughs> Leave it to you guys to say the most goofy things ever. Oh, Tartan Monster! Thank you so much for the five gifted! Oh, thank you! The Zealous Ellis, thank you very much for the prime! Dang and Son, thank you very much for the hundred bits. Alright, let's go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked balloons. for a company in a big building where he was well, employee kinda. number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Why is he typing on a keyboard like a boomer? And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so ripping, he is a boomer. Stanley this relished true. every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly... That is not good job. desk posture. And Stanley was happy. My man needs the Herman Miller. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Shrimp posture. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would thumb. never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived Chills. on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Luna, I hope you're enjoying Stardew Something Valley. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk COVID and stepped office. out of his office. <laughs> average Stanley fan versus average gym enjoyer. <laughs> so funny. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Bucket, Perhaps he had bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh, it skipped his thingy. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Stanley <laughs> clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? God, how I missed you, bucket. Mm -hmm. I call this one the cum bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Bucket was telling calling! Him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It just was the place to and be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was mm. this better than the meeting room? Mm. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. The bucket. How insightful the bucket All turned out. All hail the to magic be. No, bucket. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Oh, never mind. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. <laughs> go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go he to the cargo the lift. He gave the bucket a voice. <laughs> no. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking <laughs> to him. It should bucket. have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Is she gonna pick up the phone? Wait, there's the phone? Where's the phone? In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. 
Wait, what Stanley happens if once I jump off with the bucket? Blindly. Will the bucket save me? Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Whee! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. Mm. So he threw himself to his death, wow. that they might die in one another's arms. That's so dark, yet so touching. beautiful. This ending sure is popular with VTubers. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, no, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave Damn. of comfort rushed over him. Based chat comment. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Where is Office 420? But we already did that. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I don't know. Should we just follow the directions for now? Executive bathroom. Wait, there's a bathroom now? <gasps> a collectible! We found one of them. One of the miniature uh, yeah, Stanley figurines. Sheesh. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Let's you can't go. buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every you moment found it. Collect you come them across all. one of these Taste beautiful the figurines. Sequel. Extreme bathrooms. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. What in the world what does that mean? This is a nice bathroom, though. You said there was a broom closet? What's this? We have, have we been here before? What's this? Hello, Selena. We need bow elevator music. We do need bow elevator music. We sure do diddly do. Good now, right? Are we just... Did nothing happen? Are we just... Man. Come on. Why always me? What? I can't go anymore. Eh? I'm confused. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. What was it Even again? Now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos? It would be with him, always. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was it that the, was bucket, the bucket knew all him? along? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. <gasps> I 
another miniature yeah. Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands, Stanley figs, or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think Stan I like that. Lurines. Another Stanlerine under your belt. buy this bucket as merch, right? Surely I can buy this bucket. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting want him, a Stanley reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything <laughs> will be fine. This is so stupid. <laughs> Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. <laughs> I mean... So, it seems like we're just doing a repeat of everything, but there's new lines incorporating the bucket. Am I right? The monitors jumped and to life, so... and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Ooh. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket don't know? had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears the as Stanley almost... cradled it gently, reassuring <laughs> it that everything would be fine. Let's cradle the bucket. Poor bucket, it's gonna be okay, bucket. We're gonna get Was through this, right, Chad? Under the mind Come on, Chad, say some reassuring things to bucket, well? Chan. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Why is my mind suddenly feeble? No! He screamed into the bucket. He, he screamed into the it. bucket. His own life in someone It'll else's be okay, control. You metal Never. shiny you. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one. No except one except for the, the bucket. bucket. Oh, Snapper, thank you so much for the dono. Can I has bucket? You may has bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Smoke. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They hide, but at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. <laughs> Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the Bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the Bucket away in disgust, when suddenly, an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Ooh, silly birds. birds. Silly, ah. silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Oh. Eh? Ooh, silly birds. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it oh. dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket wow. never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here Bird in up, place, my guys. living through live Bird streams up. of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley... Uh, this happy. one's really silly. Dude, this music is so good. 
Wait. Wow, he just like me, for real. What a good ending. When Stanley came to a set of <gasps> two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Eh? I feel like we skipped a couple steps, no? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I don't know it. where the bucket is. The There's lounge bucket. was grand. I walked majestic. past Bucket Coon? Perhaps too uh -oh. majestic. Like, but eager to get back to business, I passed Stanley the took the first. Begin the game again. I. I. No, no, All it's usually here. It's usually here. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, oh, thank God. The confusion okay. and the chaos all seemed to melt away oh as Stanley God. embraced thank the bucket. fucking God. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Whoa! What the? Large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to... Places to search, somewhere red and blue. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Gotta collect them all. Five there be. Just take three from me. LOL, looks like 427. Ha 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 ha. A large room? Trust the completionist instinct. There will be a reward for finding all. Lies, who are you? 666, six, six. LOL. There will be cleaning of this wall required. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. <laughs> Good luck. Huh? This is so stupid. <laughs> Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the frick up. To whom it may concern, I managed to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office. Ambiences are local or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional mic, a microphone which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of recordings are used, are allowed to, uh, allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Data shows that in all likelihood, it's coming from a dark area behind a very warm place. I also picked up what looks like to be reverberance off a porcelain surface. Anyone have any ideas on this? Wouldn't you like to know? Source of levitation? Findings. Difficult. <laughs> Do we need contracts for them? Potential liability. NDA. Bonus stuff. What we forgot. What we know. What we don't know yet. Someone in cargo room. Employee 421 building a bridge. And, okay. What, what are they... What do they want? Should we make them... Limb... Fidgers? And fidges? Why floating? <laughs> so stupid. Broom closet! Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I huh? can really feel it now. No, it's my it's bucket. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet no, is trying to mine. say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Yeah, Don't I won't. Hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. I'll be strong. This is I'll your be bucket. strong. This is your companion and lifelong this friend. This is my lover. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into mm. name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom <gasps> closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never Why, liked I this never. broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. Yeah, me neither. I always but had a bad feeling. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. Excuse me? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is you know so that? banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship <gasps> towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Yeah, fuck really you, tell bitch, the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. 
Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and, and the bucket, bucket have shared together. Okay? Go through each of them point by we point. We are quite literally Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket. This is our 10th anniversary, and, over the years. and our honeymoon is they just around the corner. It. You disgusting, filthy broom. This is why you lay waste in this disgusting, hazardous closet. Okay, Destined to I sniff got you something oh. which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh, there. I got a now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, yeah, with all your meandering bro. philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets yeah, in the natural these, order of things. Pants grab. Cringe, cringe, cringe. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm Ooh. going to slap it on as well because I think oh, it's sticker. appropriate. Sticker. You see? I feel sticker. that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That so way, true. if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding uh. is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a oh, wide variety of applications for this sticker. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. <laughs> and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What mm. name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness I like that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by Figlies? one? Let me sit on Figlies it. are I'm cute sure and silly. It will come to me. You're really good at finding these, Bal. Aw, oh, thanks, Tides. We have the funny, um... But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, uh -oh. admitting he had left his post during work Here we hours. go again. He might be fine for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe... He thought to himself, uh -oh. maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked, he asked the, bucket. the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Isn't that strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. What's going on, And bucket? that's when Stanley realized, huh? this isn't my bucket. What? It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone no. else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would oh, come from this. Who knows what sorts Where of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Oh, he realized that secondary to the, the bucket. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me. Bucket the Pooh, bucket. where are you? Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing oh. by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None it's of them mind. were his special bucket. This isn't Come my special me, bucket. Stanley, find me. I'm looking. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way so to many. truly restore his sanity. How can and I... then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled uh, over uh, in the uh, black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Um. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She rose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. 
Of course he'd gone mad, <laughs> ranting and raving about a narrator no, describing Bucky. all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be. How cruel. Thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems Bucketless. she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Oh, Kayura! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, Miss Kayora. <gasps> Hello, Minnow. Oh, oh my goodness, a double raid. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for the raid, Minnow and Kayora. I hope you guys both had a lovely, lovely stream. We're playing the Stanley Player... Play <laughs> the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Version. Um, if you do not want spoilers, then I uh, advise you to not tread any further. However, if you too are a bucket enjoyer, Please enjoy your stay. This has been a local PSA from your local cat whale, Bao. Um, me and uh, Bucket Coon just uh, were, were shimmying on by, making some core memories in the game. Bucketless! <laughs> one Bao, Stanley one decided Bucket. decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co Excuse me. Anyways, He'd please follow well Kayora and Minnow. I love them both. They're amazing YouTubers. So the thought of Would recommend 20 out of 10. terrifying to him. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. I was home. <laughs> Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Did you say 420? Did I miss the door? All oh, the stickers are still here. That makes me happy. And here Aww, it was. That's a cute Had the bucket emo. turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No. Never mind. The bucket Our was bucket. Wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Have we gone here yet? Uh-oh. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this Whoa! place Whoa! We care about you, Stanley. Oh, there's a broom closet. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. What? We've come together here because we care about you very much. What? It's this bucket is this you're an carrying intervention? around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's what? just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Adventure Line? Because that's line. what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much uh -oh. time with it. Don't you want another story involving the we adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Oh, but can I still bring this guy? Hey, bitch. Where'd this baby come from? Did I fucking miss that? Adventure line. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? It's oh, TM. and it played some silly music as well. TM. Ooh, penis music. I love penis music. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Um... <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But um... if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. 
We all heard that, right? We we all heard that. That was uh we're not gonna brush that over that, right? We're gonna No? Totally normal? Okay, Chad, if if you say so, I mean you guys know better than me. Oh, a phone. Can I do anything with this thing? Nor. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Oh. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Um. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Bucket Destroyer? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Huh? Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. But... But... What do I do? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No, this is my bucket. I don't know bucket. what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying oh, buckets care. is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Being a VTuber sure, be I like... can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like uh, ten personality traits. What uh, other object in this game can you even say that about? The I broom closet? Know. Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for oh, after fan. this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset <laughs> now. You'll have to so hurry bad. and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. No! Quickly now. The you fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Are we in heaven? The Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Goodbye, Bucket Destroyer. May we never meet again. Me and my homies hate the Bucket Destroyer. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Meeting today in the meeting room. Stanley picked up the bucket and Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest his and entered time. the door on his left. The fucking light yellow. Okay, what's next? Somewhere both red and blue, a large room with locks of lots of boxes. Stanley, we must move on from this room <laughs> closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, there's no, no more stickers. stickers. I'm sorry, guys. I thought there would be something funny. There's no more stickers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. 
Even now, in his darkest Mom? of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light I pierce the remember. dark clouds of confusion and chaos. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, Was it the I bucket it. knew all along? Stickerless? Was the bucket guiding <laughs> Yes, this is certainly the most logical My explanation. My cat's so funny. Back, 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 back. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of Stanley us. Stanley and the bucket walk straight we ahead through the large dog and red mind the control facility. Two of us. Although this two passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. The end is never the end. The end is never the end. Hello? Here we go! Funny Disney! Funny Disney ride! As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This yeah, is what Stanley I kinda get thought it. to himself. It's gonna and he be sort okay. of kicked himself bucket for wasting so us. much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Will we be seeing you at DreamHack? Yes, you will. Bucket Coonar! We're actually still alive. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all I got buckets the are raging in their own too. way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. A bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing much at this precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? <gasps> so deep. So meta. Such commentary. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Does this all mean? Life. Stress bucket. An analogy. Is this a political comic of the bucket? <laughs> this is so stupid. Hello? 
Now what? I mean, what can we do now? I didn't lose the bucket. The bucket lost me, you know? So, uh... Anyone know where I'm supposed to be going? Any... There's an exit somewhere? Aw, oh, fuck. I did something. But there is something we something. can do. Something we can do together, <gasps> you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. You can fix this? Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. What? Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. What? We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new uh... world, a new vision of Splat. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then he on, he would never be alone ever again. Ye Number one, Dad. Who farted? I hate Mondays. Splat. -ja. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. <laughs> Off on another thrilling adventure together. Mm hmm. Did you went out the window? You can do that. Mm, okay. Like this. I cannot. This damn game, Lamal. It's just too smart for its own good. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. There's a desk by the window. Maybe later. I have not done window. What's, what's left? Two more, right? Somewhere both red and blue. Somewhere both red and blue. Mm. Stanley, we must move on from this broom <laughs> closet, simply because I have no remaining stick. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm too scared. I don't want to go downstairs anymore. Business strategy. Why is he holding the panda hostage? Do anything? Does this do anything? Does this take me anywhere? I think it broken. I think I broke it. I 
it broke it. Great job, Bao. What? I didn't know. Surely this Stepping game has to account office, for stupid Stanley players was like once me. Again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Now what? Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an endings. enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Shh, it's gonna be okay, little guy. Don't worry. This is all just was a bad the dream, bucket I'm under sure. the mind control facilities influence as well? My, Had the bucket bosom. been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not no want bucket. to do in the you're first you, place? And it's beautiful These that you're you. Raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Don't listen to what this weird place no! has to tell you. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the You're entire world. You're my one world. friend in the entire this world. Point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. You can trust me, Bucket. Bucket, we've been together for so long. You were my but childhood here was friend. The, proof. the heart we were there of the operation. When Controls labeled with emotions. Truck. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, no what, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible. Whoa! Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Is it over? Yes! They had done it! Oh. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive <gasps> door. The life Bucket together. wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. What? True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together. Are we With one another eloping? to lean on, to trust, to support, and... What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? Huh? An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit stanley square in the face this building did not want the bucket to leave even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket needed the soothing warmth of the bucket or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket no 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 stanley can't leave no. this place no. not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. <laughs> to be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Um... Eternal bucket How ending. long was I sitting there, 
Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Note to self, do not spend eternity Stanley in darkness. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. How do I go the window? Try some parkour? Can't, I don't have any jumps. I ain't got no hops. Oh? Did I do it? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was it. part of the game's design all along. He then oh, praised fuck. the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure <laughs> and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Well, Why I'm don't blind. we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag Yeah, yet? I'm pretty sick of it too. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. Mm. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. My eyes are also watering from the flashbang. good now right like I can just leave so, so, so we can do we we're good yeah all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room I perhaps like he had simply missed a memo work just I just hate my boss that's so true where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Okay, now what, chat? What, what should we do next? You guys said something about the elevator? Where, which elevator? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left, 
to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. You can land on the catwalk. And that thing? How do I get there? Ooh. This. Ooh. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. None of us can. Now what? Oh, door. Day number 295, take number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay mm. for even just an hour with the bucket. BNFT, shut the fuck up! It's my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. I'm even rocking now, back and I forth. don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Who's there? Who's there? What? Is there a fucking monster here? Um... Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. So, uh... What do we do now? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No more bucket, bro. That fucking bucket tried... It's gonna kill us. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Where do we go now? 
Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Is this the elevator? Did you try up and down elevator? I... I don't know. I'm confusion. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I might need bucket. What? I'm confusion. The lights rose on an enormous room. Here, I'll just restart it. Oh. The, now you... All what? of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had sent a good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a humble committed bucket. bucket, a bucket of culture and distinct. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Go down and go up. Was I at the right elevator though? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ongi. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. So once I go down, I go up, and then I go down and I go up. Here, this one, I go up and I go down. Ogi. Just go Wait, up and down Stanley a bunch. Wait, said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Pressing the number three? Wait. I need to go press the number three? I need to go press the number three. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three. Slam it! Wow, he said. The number three is such a special button. I'm having the time Best of my spin. life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley. What's wrong, who had bucket? always felt how such come, connection with the how bucket. Come you're not how was this not as exciting, exciting to the bucket as it bucket? was to him? Once Stanley on the same had page. had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Okay. I'm back in the elevator. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. How weird that the bucket was not happy. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been <laughs> through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. I just... Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. And the bucket said nothing. Those are some cold words I never want to hear again. I have a feeling I'm going to be hearing it a lot from now on. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician wail on a on beloved it. instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. Oh, a bellissimo. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. 
He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. What? Why? Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection. Stanley wave of dejection. Okay. Kinda fucked up. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he a would speak conference. to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. Whoa! Where are we? For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building scene. excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day what? arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. What the world's first sentient machine? The stage. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Co workers. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I get ready for the TED talk. There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. Huh? And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, this over many so years, sad. the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious, that any sense of real respect oh between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. Jesus. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit. Only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. I'm... Hippo sad. Really? Ads? I could have sworn I turned off, like... I, like, set it to, like, it was literally... Like, it shouldn't happen this often. Setting, setting, stream, channel, channel. About moderation, community, insight, stream manager. <laughs> Partner, maybe?
Okay. Okay, I'll just turn it off for now. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door... Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Okay, but next. Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him next, that the next, employee next. lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. About doing, Never mind. Um, we're gonna the try doing the um Stanley took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. To the lift? You know which one? I forgot. The one through the boss's room? Oh, actually, where's the last boy? Where's the last boy? It's somewhere red and blue. What ending are you going for? I don't know. I just want something new to happen. It was the right door. War. No! You can't get it with bucket. No! Right door, no bucket. Right All door. of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Right door, no Stanley bucket. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right door, no bucket. Right door, no bucket. Right door, no bucket. Right door, no bucket. Eat the bucket. Hi, Wayne. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly right well. No Perhaps he wanted to right stop door. by the employee lounge first, right just door. to admire it. Right door, no bucket. Right door, no bucket. Which door? Which door? Which door? Which door? Which door, though? It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took right the first door. open door on his left. Right door, no bucket. On the cargo lift, you'll see the cat walk. Below that, you can walk off the cargo lift and to take the cargo lift and drop down onto the car. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you I'm of sorry. this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. I know what you do. Look, I just let me prove it. Just... Let me prove that I'm on your side. Ooh, Give me a figure, chance. Figure, figure. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley Ooh, figure, walked figure, figure. through, and there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Yeah. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. We did this it. is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many Let's people go! expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Or Red or blue? Red or blue, red or blue, red, red, blue, blue, red or blue, red or blue, red or blue, red or Wait, there's one more actually? Where? Really? What? There's a bonus one. I go blue. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Eh? Stanley walked through the red door. Eh. I still don't think we're communicating. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this yeah, road? Yeah, tell me. You've I want to know. I want to know. Don't let me stop you. 
What is it? You see? There's nothing here. Where is I haven't it? even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this <laughs> what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out sorry. specifically for you? I'm sorry. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the oh. end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate <laughs> these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game he better? sounds like my what therapist. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Ooh. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Ooh. Go ahead, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. What's the... What's the verdict? Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And mm -hmm. to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Silent Reaper, thank you for tier one. Red Dissolving, thank you so much for Prime. Frenzy Flood, thank you so much for seven months. Seth D8, thank you very much for the tier one. Oh, DB, sorry. Tara Chi R, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Lowercase Sam, thank you so much for 10 months. Bouquet Infernal, thank you very much for the 10 months. Chasmaclism, thank you very much for the Prime. Shirolita, thank you very much for the tier one. Ooh, it's a, it's a worldwide leaderboard. <laughs> I am... Damn. I'm last. A dead rat is offline. This is your superior. Eh. I'm last place. I've played this game worse than a dead rat? What the hell, man? This sucks. Four, two, seven. I'm crying. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Uh, it's pretty mid. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Four. Let me boot it up. In this game, baby. the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay, okay. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Now play it life. for four hours. I think the what? art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four, four hours? hours of play to make sure it's effective? You Be really? sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> Fuck it. Bye. Perish. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's <laughs> over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Yes. Sayu, thank you so much for 10 months. What did I just see? 
Uh, you saw me um, revealing my true colors. Ooh! Aha! What's Fascinating. This? What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Oh. What is our motivation? Um, I mm. think I am well, it a seems forest obvious ranger. To me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below I'm not you a creepy from up man. high in your I'm a forest tower. ranger. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Erotic? Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. What the fuck? So far, I love Do everything about this game, on. Stanley. Do and not it seems trade on more. me, folks. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh. Volunteer as lookout. Wow. It's actually a really pretty game. Hmm, propane. Keep the house warm, you know? Please, no steppy brother. <laughs> no, 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 it can't be. Huh? It's so pretty. It is. It's an open world game. <laughs> Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, no, my oh. open world game, Thank no! Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You really oh. wandered off into that, that thing. Oh. That big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh. oh thank I heavens we are world games. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, uh, I'm going to get us out of here. I get it. Let's find another game, preferably something with walls, something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. It's so pretty, though. Aw. Ooh. This Wonderful. looks like Rocket League. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box oh, for you to run around in. Rocket there isn't League. any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Yo. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in Why this game, in I will Rocket be phenomenally League? impressed. Huh? Wait, is there like a destination? I'm confused. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? We Let's kick see. the ball. We kick the ball. There are lots Where's of cars the ball? here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing <laughs> that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, sports I think it's ball? sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Sports ball, sports, sports ball, sports ball. Are you ball. doing it? I'm fun. Are you winning? I'm is winning. this fun? It's fun. It's is fun. it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? <laughs> Stanley, I have a thought. No, no, and no. I realize no, I'm no, not a sportsologist, no, no, but if no, no. one ball oh, no, generates shit. a certain oh, amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes! Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Balls. More balls! More balls. I did it. Wow, so many balls! Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Boys, Is boys, this a boys. real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because boys, guess boys. what? It's over. Why? That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what Why? I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, Why? you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games Man. are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I, I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided Man. you didn't want to play my game, I now I don't play. want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Man, what the hell? MXVCO, thank you very much for the prime. Touch grass. Touching grass. Now what? 
I don't know what to do. It looks like a step ladder over there. Can I get out there? Jump on the goal. Come the ball. Become ball, become ball, become ball, become ball. Bee! What are you doing? I'm escaping. I am ball. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. <laughs> How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know oh that. Oh my god, is this our breakup arc? <gasps> guys, guys, it's our breakup arc. Hmm? So dark here. Is this new? Kind of are in the back rooms right now. Ooh. 427. Hey, that's us. Okay. Booters? What's it mean? I, I hope I didn't miss something. Oh. Hello? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone uh, who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this, this world. It's a toxic relationship. Oh, yes. yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Red flag. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys. Um, I think now is a good time to end stream. I've been playing for about five hours. And uh, I still have a bit more stuff to do this week. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Go to my bedroom. Hey, you. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wee. Woggies. Woggy woggies. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming to the stream today. I had a lot of fun and uh, lots of laughs. This game has so much personality, and... Excuse me. I'm so glad I could experience it for the first time with everybody. I saw so many people playing the game, and I didn't really know what it was about. Uh... And I feel like... Even if you explained it to me... You know, what this game was about... There's... There's no way I could have truly understood. Still think it's a horror game? Um... Nah. It's definitely not a horror game. It's it's a, a little existential, but ultimately it's it's definitely more funny than horror. <laughs> it might it might fuck up someone who's never been exposed to philosophy and like the existis existential um concept of choice, but otherwise this is it's really not that scary. It does have the tags horror. See, that's where... That is what happened to me. I thought it was a horror game. Um, But if I do want to play a horror game, I would probably play, like, Poppy Playtime. But um, I hope to finish up next week for this game. Trusting Steam tags. I'm a fucking... 
I'm a mess. It's definitely more comedy and and I've pretty much enjoyed like every bit of it. This this narrator is just so amazing. Um the game I I feel like is wouldn't be the game without the narrator. Mm -mm -mm. Nodders, nodders. Ooh, woo, kitty, woo. Thank you very much for the tier one. Bacon noodles, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate all the primes uh, today and all the support. Sorry we had to cut the sound alert short. Um, I didn't want to upset anybody, so... But we'll, we'll re-add those next week. Don't worry about it. Anywho, Jump King is tagged as psychological horror. That... I can truly understand. That I can truly understand. That is like arguable, but this is definitely very funny. <laughs> Anywho, um let's raid someone, shall we? Any any suggestions on who I should raid? Mm, I already raided Yuzu, so I don't want to raid her again. <gasps> we should raid my friend Daisy. I like that I asked and then just simply did not listen to anybody. But I think you guys would really enjoy Daisy. Daisy is adorable and very funny and a very, very, very talented voice actress. You guys should definitely give her a follow. I think she's very un underrated as a VTuber. So you guys, you guys go give her lots of love, okay? Go, uh, go, go be a Daisy stan before everybody else catches on. And then once she gets big, you guys can call yourselves hipsters. Hehe. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys. I had so much fun. I hope you guys um carry your bucket coons everywhere you go. Your emotional support bucket. Please do not leave it. Um, it's a very imperative you have it on you. Otherwise, you're you're gonna be suffering. It's not gonna be a good ride. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I forgot what I'm doing. I think I have a oh yeah, tomorrow is the long-awaited smash or pass vtuber edition which will fucking take all day i'm sure so be on the lookout for that if you haven't submitted anything now is a good time to find that tweet on my twitter and submit it i will not be retweeting it because i'm so fucking scared of the amount of replies it already has <laughs> anyways I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Good night!